Welcome back to my channel. I am back. Yes. I told y'all I would be back this evening, perhaps. Gotta reapply my lipstick. Uh -huh. Come on in, hit the like button. I know you're gonna like this video. By the way, this is Charmer by Leveled Up Cosmetics, my cosmetic line. So that's what color I have on, if y'all are wondering. So we're going to do a video about looking, le looking looks for less or looking expensive for less. You don't have to go into debt to look cute or to look like you're rocking the latest styles or whatnot, because there are so many different ways to um, look stylish. Don't go broke trying to look rich. That's my motto. Hey y'all, so don't go broke trying to look rich. Like, I don't go broke trying to look rich because I don't care. I just want to look cute, period. I don't like overspending money when I can get something similar or, you know, whatever. Um, unless it's a special occasion or a reward. But for everyday things where no one is going to see you walking in and out of the post office, walking in and out of the grocery store, um, you know, it doesn't really matter that you spend a lot of money. You know, if you're going to go freestyling, you don't need to spend a lot of money either because then it will look like you already have everything you need. And most men are not going to be able to give anything to you or they won't be able to because you already have everything. So, I'm going to start out with some stuff that I did get on Amazon. And this just came today. I have not tried it on. I tried to link a similar dress below. If you click on it, there's different um, colors that you can pick. So, the one that's listed is not this color. You have to go in and pick the color. So, I got this really cute floral bougie looking dress it looks like it could have came from let's say scoochie so i could have, could have came from scoochie we'll call it scoochie so this looks like it could have came from scoochie oh i think i've seen this one linked somewhere it's on amazon i'll try to find the exact link but i did link something similar um but this, this looks like scoochie. It's not, <laughs> you don't have to break the bank. Yes, you don't have to break the bank. So this is from Amazon. Um, you know, it is it is in a certain size. I think I might have gotten it too big. I always do that, but we'll see. Um, I don't ever know. So I try to order a size up just in case. It does have a little zipper right here. They had red, green, black, gold. They had a lot of different patterns. But, of course, I chose the pink because it looked very feminine. It does have that bow that will come in front to tie. It's attached. The bow is attached. So you get that little Gucci bow look. I'll probably wear it tomorrow just to show you guys what it looked like. If it looked good. If it don't look good, I'm not wearing it. Um, I do say wear something under because you can kind of see through it. It's not thick material, but it's not super thin either. But don't wear nothing black under it. I think it's because it's the light color. You can get away with probably white or nude. <laughs> so I would definitely, you know, I mean, it was cheap. So, I mean, I'm not really, I think it was like $30. It's cute, but I'm sure it costs way less than the real thing. Plus, Amazon, they always suck you in with, you know, clothes and purses and knickknacks and stuff. So I got this a while back, but I thought it would match that dress. So I wanted to show you guys this purse. You can get this from Amazon. I did find the link for this. I did link this. Um, did I link it below? I think so. I don't know. I will if I didn't. So this is a pink B purse. B. And so I have some stuff in it. I don't know if I'm gonna check it out. 
this is just my purse for today because I don't really carry this purse. I have my big uh, Louis Vuitton. But when I'm wearing pink or something cute and I want to match my purse, I'll, I'll throw this one on. So the, just the inside. It's pretty good and it's very nice. It has a gold chain. So um, I think this was like $20 or 15 between 20 or 15 dollars nothing then you can double it and wear it as a shorter purse and very cute i don't recommend um they have another more modern um b purse that will probably match that dress better that i might also get i also link that as well on my little um it's all one link and you'll see all the stuff in it so on my amazon thing so you don't have to break your bank to look like, you know, the latest fashion or style. You can go right to Amazon or wherever you shop online and get or shop the look. I just call it shop the look. Uh, you can get this headband there, too. So um, I do believe in saving your money and not spending it all on frivolous things. Um, you can treat yourself or you can have people gift you. That's how I do it. Any any luxury, most of the luxury items that I have are gifted. Okay. Or, you know, rewards for myself or accomplishments or whatever. But definitely I tr I rather have gifts. Uh, can y'all hear me good? I'd rather have gifts because um, that way you don't have to worry about spending your own money. And Every time you look at it, it's a memory of the person that bought it for you. Thank you. So, um, it's kind of also giving the item, you know, sentimental value, which makes it worth even more. Sorry, y'all, that noise. Hmm. Putting my stuff back. So I don't lose it. Who gifted me the fillers and teeth? Well, my mother gifted me, my, my, my mother and my father gifted me my DNA. These teeth are real. Come on now. Mm hmm. Oh, Shira is surprisingly good quality. I love how everything's. Oh, thank you, Sprinkle. Oh, this necklace, are you trying to get me to tell? Um, this necklace is from, I did a video earlier today called October Jewelry. And it is from there. I'll try to link also in the description when the video is done, but it's very, it's a locket and it's like very pretty. It's like crystal. You could put like a scent locket or a piece of cotton with essential oil in there and have it like a scent lock because there's like little holes. But yeah, I did a video earlier today on October um, jewelry. Very beautiful jewelry. Um, too much arrogance. Why, thank you. I'm sorry I'm not humble and with low self-esteem, but um, that's just not who I am and I could never pretend to be. So I'm so sorry. I'm too arrogant. Excuse me for not groveling at your feet. As soon as you're confident and have all this, you know, um, self-love, people want to call you arrogant. And the baby, you just got low self-esteem. Okay? Pull it up a little bit. <laughs> Pull yours up. Come on. Get like me. Um... My lipstick color is Charmer by Level Up Cosmetics, darling. That's what you need. They always try to bring you down. Girl, get on my level. Come up here. I ain't gonna go back down there. I don't think I was ever down there, but I ain't, I'm not going back down there. Even if I was down there, I ain't going. You stay over there. You stay down there. I'm, I'll be up here. When you ready, come on through. Uh, 
know they always be trying to trying to test you, girl. They try to test you. Too arrogant. Keep this. No, you ain't arrogant enough. That's why you over here being a pig, Misha. Um, tell us how to save money. Telling us how to save money is arrogant, is it? <laughs> I'm just saying, she, you can get the same look for cheap. Okay. Thank you, Imani. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You changed my life. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, you was hovering on YouTube all day. Thank you. Waiting for me. I feel so special. So, yes, um, I'm going to make this look good. I'm going to try. Let me see. See what I can do with this. I'm going to make this look excellent. You're not even going to tell it's scoochie. We say scoochie because when people ask what you're wearing, it's like, oh, it's scoochie. You see? See how that works? What are you wearing? Oh, it's Scoochie. It's Gucci. It's Gucci. <laughs> they ain't gonna ask you to spell it, okay? <laughs> um, you was not throwing shade. I was the first person to to say it. you were arrogant. Oh, it was for no, not you. I know you, Quiet Storm. I I wouldn't talk to you. Spread, spread. I didn't call your name. <laughs> Thank you. I said arrogance is dusty repellent. It sure is. So, yes. Also, like their their jewelry on um, different websites. You don't have to go and like buy expensive jewelry. You could buy. You can order from you know people that have their own business, like October Jewelry or J uh, and CY Jewelry, and support small business and get quality jewelry as well so you don't have to go and spend big bucks at big names to have really nice jewelry because a lot of the jewelry looks like each other anyway you can't really tell what came from anyway you know um this is from october october jewelry let's see if i can find out a little cord yes the video i did today before this i hauled all the october jewelry that was sent to me darling um, I guess I'll show it again since some of y'all weren't there. Okay. But I'm looking for the I was looking for the little card. Is that it? Oh, I can't find the card. Anyway, it's just October jewelry, jewelry with two L's. I'll link it below. Oh, here it is. They're on Instagram as well, so you can go find their on Instagram, October Jewelry with two L's. And here's their website. www.octoberjewelry.com Jewelry with two L's. So they sent me a really pretty, I'm gonna be done in a second with this because a lot of you have already seen this, but a very pretty paper clip gold necklace. And they are an entrepreneur. Uh, one of the viewers of subscribers of Shoe Seven starting their own business. So y'all go support. This is gold. It's a really pretty paperclip necklace. And then I also have on the paperclip heart charm um, bracelet. And she also sent me. The earrings. Ooh, aren't those cute? Um, and the last thing, this necklace, it's a locket and it's silver. And the last thing, oh, that's this box. You love the jewelry? Yes, yeah, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go see what else you got up there because like, it's really pretty. Um, it's a herringbone silver necklace. Very classic. Um, <laughs> and also, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, I've changed so much in the last year. 2020 was a good year for me, y'all. 
2020 was a good year for me. What can I say? Bad for others. But it was good for me. I gave me a lot more time and a lot more energy to really put more effort into what I look like. So um, dressing, shopping, you know, shopping online, choosing accessories. I have more time to do that instead of being rushed or worrying about where am I going to wear this or what, what people are going to think of it because, you know, we were on quarantine. So when you get, you know, when you get kind of like more time to yourself and get to know yourself and what you want and what looks good and what you're trying to accomplish, you know, you're able to do that without considering Pygmisha's feelings, your, uh, your Dusty's feelings or, you know, your boss's feelings. You just, this is what I'm going to wear. I like it. Thank you, Alex, Alexandra. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. That was generous. She would thanks to all your advice on leveling up and being feminine. I haven't had to work in eight months. And I'm being fully provided for. You are such a blessing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go ahead, girl. You got a nice vacation, girl. A paid vacation. Look. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm proud of you, girl. I'm proud. Um. Okay. No, it's not on Etsy. It's uh, just www.octoberjewelry.com. Jewelry has two L's and this spell it. www.octoberjewelry.com. You can use my coupon code. Uh, I think it's Shira. Shira or Shira15. One of those. Trouble. And you can save you some money. Girl. It's in my the video I did before this. You can definitely get all the information. And names of the jewelry and everything. Okay. Um, thank you. I don't have a tutorial on this look, but um, it's mainly just what I call a soft glam. It's just eyeshadow um, and lashes with eyebrows, contour, and lipstick. A little bit of highlighter. <laughs> but I do have a beauty channel with similar looks. A Shira Star. So um, I say invest in, the, the only thing that I would truly invest in is good foundation for your makeup and good bras and shapewear if you're going to wear them because that makes the outfit. So invest in your makeup and underwear. <laughs> okay, that's what you invest in. Everything else you can, because you're not gonna be wearing something um, that often as you would wear, you know, your foundation, you got to wear that every time you wear your makeup and your undergarments, you know, they can't, um, break down after four hours. They can't be them cheap ones from Walmart and wires be bending and stuff. So, um, make sure you invest in bras and stuff. Yes. Slips, bra, not slips, but like, you know, the, um, the shapewear, if you if you need that, sometimes you might need shapewear as well in case you have clothing that may be light in color. You don't want them to see your um, undergarments. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So also, the, I also suggest investing in. Your wherever you sit to do your hair and makeup, that is going to be one of the places where you spend a lot of time. Um, so have a nice setup, whether it be a vanity table, a mirror, or just your own little space or whatnot in the bathroom. But make sure it's to your liking and that you have everything you need because that's where you're going to spend a lot of time. And if you like your um, you know, environment, you're not going to feel like you're wasting time. You're going to enjoy it more. So do invest in where you get ready at. When to use matte versus sheer foundation, what looks best for a polished look? Um, well, I think if, you're, if your skin is pretty clear, you don't need 
super matte foundation if you're going to be going out on a date because the man is going to be like this close to you and he don't want to see a bunch of cake okay so if you're caked up for a date people see that it looks like a mask so i will go for more of a sheer look and touch up with um you know concealer for a date because they're gonna be up here but for photos do whatever you gotta do baby put the clown mask on if you need to but for in-person meetings, less is less is more. Thank you, DB Sprinkle Sprinkle. When you use Matt, yeah. Thank you, D Sprinkle Sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Don't be a cake face. I I've seen a lot of people that take, um, I, I would call it photo makeup to the streets. When you take photo makeup to the streets, it's bad. You don't want to look like that. It's um disturbing almost. So if you if you overdo your makeup for pictures, just tone it down a little bit, a lot of bit <laughs> for real life. Um, your skin is clear. Good. Like if I were going to be taking professional pictures, I would definitely not use the foundation that I use. I would get that Huda. That Huda is like plastic surgery in a bottle. Mm -hmm. It's almost like that derma blend. So um, that covers tattoos. But I don't wear that. Every day I don't really take photo shoots. But I just wear my Fenty and that's, that's good enough for me. So I do suggest <clears throat> investing in foundation. Every, anything else. Basically, the foundation is key. <clears throat> Your skin is messed up. You can't do anything. Oh, well. You got to go to the dermatologist. Or you got to get to the dermatologist to see what they suggest. Or you can research online how to clear up your skin. And, you know, mm -hmm. you said some women cake face scares, scares you. How to solve dry skin. Moisturize, <clears throat> moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water. Um, instead of washing your face every day, or after you wash your face, you need a moisturizing mask or you, they have moisturizing sleep masks that you can sleep in as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else was I going to tell you how you can save money? Oh, yes. Oh yeah, skincare. We're, we've been talking about that. Skincare also makes you look more refined. Like if you have, and and like if you're working on your skin, you know you're gonna get there. Don't worry, you won't get there. You won't get there. But when you get there, your skin will look more refined, and therefore you will look more taken care of. You know, um, like you can afford the the spa and facials and stuff every month and all that. Um, so clear skin also upgrades your look to a more polished look. If you, um, you know, take care of yourself, it also helps. Like you, you have this natural glow from consistency. You know, if, if you wash your face and moisturize consistently, you will have a natural glow. That's just what it is <clears throat> but if you skip in between don't exfoliate you know um just mess up your skin by eating bad or you know putting your hands all in your face not wearing makeup and sweaty and not washing your face for you a bit um and then you finally decide to take care of your skin on friday you're not gonna have that consistent glow that you would have had taking care of your skin on a daily basis so skincare is another way to um, look more luxe, 
without spending a lot of money. Okay. Um, same goes for moisturizing, like get some um, lotion or oils for your skin. You automatically look a little bit more luxe when you go out and, you know, your skin is shown. Um, I'm a whole demon. That's right. A whole demon. Y'all are silly. He came here to worship me. Oh, thank you. We have trolls again. Okay, so they don't rest, do they? Um, I think anything pearl, pearl is very chic. Um, definitely very elegant. So, mm-hmm. Oh, Mandy. Mandy's here. Hi, Mandy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your sugar mother has a lotion that costs a thousand dollars. What does it do that a three dollar lotion can't do? I don't get it. Girl. A thousand dollars, huh? You may need to take that to a lab and test it for human DNA. Anyway, um, 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 um. um. You said curls will age you. That's only if you can't pull them off. You have to have the right look. Like, you have to have the right outfit. I wouldn't wear them with every outfit. Like, I wouldn't wear them with this. Cause this, yeah, only on my head. I wouldn't wear them around my neck. I've tried this on because I think it looked good with the vintage look. But definitely, if you wear the right size, the right length, with the right outfit, you just gotta know how to pair it together. Like, I got sent some beautiful pearls. I know y'all seen my pink pearls a thousand times. Let me show y'all my pink pearls that JNC Jewelers sent me. Are they still in here? Yes. And she also had this other necklace. Though. These pink pearls. So cute. This will look good with a cute little dress. It's kind of low cut. Very feminine with some little cute pink heels. So it just depends, you know. Those are the fat pearls, though. Mm hmm. She thinks love equals only money. No, I don't. <laughs> I think money equals money, baby. Y'all don't be putting words in my mouth. What do you think about surgeries? I'm debating to spend money on that, maybe invest in better things like my stocks. And, um, well, whatever makes you feel more polished, and if you think that's going to upgrade your lifestyle, then go ahead do it. Like, like I said, I'm waiting on the Wakanda bed to come out before if I ever get some type of surgery or work done. I need the Wakanda bed, the Wakanda healing bed. So um, I'm waiting on that technology. Hopefully it'll come within the next decade. <laughs> Thank you, Tori. Sprinkle, sprinkle. First time catching you live. Thanks for being here for us. Thank you, Tori. I'm glad you caught. I'm glad you caught me first time. Hey, sprinkle, sprinkle. I got my Texas accent out for you today. Chu, what about boyfriends who verbally abuse you? What does that mean? It means you know what that means. Don't even let me tell you what it means because you're not gonna like what it means. Mm-hmm. It mean he it means you don't do anything about it. 
That's what it means. It means he's comfortable saying those things to you and he don't fear for his life. <laughs> so it means you let him get away with it. That's what it means. <laughs> Be like, they should be afraid to say those things to you, honestly. Okay. And not in a any violent way, but in a sinister way. They should be afraid to do that. They should be afraid to say something to you like that. If they're comfortable because they know you won't do anything. Right. If, if someone tried to uh, verbally abuse me and, you know, they said something, they don't know me, they will figure me out when they're in that bathroom all night, though. Okay. They'll figure me out when they're stuck on the toilet sleep. Thank you, MBT Sprinkle Sprinkle. They're going to start connecting the dots. Every time I say something mean, I get diarrhea. Real bad diarrhea. <laughs> so, how do I ask for gifts without looking like a gold digger? Act like you lost what you want. The whole I lost my earring trick. Start crying. Go get you some new ones the next day or the same day. I always miss when you go out. Well, you're here today. Hi, Crystal. Crystal mom. So, um, it's okay. You know, my channel has grown enough to where I have few trolls that sit in the live to discuss me. That's fine. You know, it's, it's, it's the higher level that we have to deal with. Anyway, I have led two ladies from the Renegade. Oh, good, Mandy. You over there doing God's work. They was already black, though, so you didn't lead them to know Christ. <laughs> but I'm glad you had something to do that day. Uh-huh. You said God is not fecal to skin. Oh, what is he white? Is he a man too? Girl, man, be so brainwashed, she brainwashing other people. She my new boyfriend takes me out but won't pay bills. What to do? Then don't give him none, girl. Don't give him none until he paid them bills. You don't get none, the bills don't get paid. Get tired. When you get home, pull out them bills. When he's ready to get some, pull out them bills. Have your bills right here. Right under your, put it in your shirt. So when he undo it, bill. Gotta take care of this first. Get this out, put it in your underwear in the back. Bill. When you get home, don't wear it, walk around like that all day. When you get home, you know, he gonna try something. Put it down your shirt when he, Try to get it off the bill. He can't get past the bill. He can't get done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Girl, y'all just ignore Mandy, you know. She's a view and a comment. That's all she is. Works, works. Um. Shira, he said he needs to digest it all. Said, let's have a conversation tomorrow about anything else I would say about marriage thing. I cried like I look, girl, he needs to digest it all. Hopefully he'll have a nightmare of dying alone tonight and you'll be good. Send it out there. Send it out there. Anyway, I'm 
we can't help everybody. Not everybody's going to live a little. Not everybody has um, enough brain cells or a high enough IQ. Just let them stay in the comments so they can feel welcome. Be okay. I don't think they're friends. What? What y'all? Now y'all talk about me in the comments? I'm going to start reading the comments then. I'm going to talk about me in the next question. <laughs> How about this? If you want to know, why don't you ask me? Instead of asking people that don't know me. <laughs> okay. I believe in Santissima or uh, Santera and materialism. Santeria, you mean saints? The saints? You believe in the saints too, Mandy. You know? And materialism, aren't you a material being, Mandy? Don't you have that? Aren't you a, a material being? Do you wear underwear? Those are material. Thank you. It's always the broke ugly ones, I, I promise you. Decayed spawn, sprinkle, sprinkle. I took your advice about setting high standards for myself, and not only does it work, but I feel great as well. Thank you, you. Oh, thank you, girls, for the spark. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. No, it's okay. it's okay. I haven't seen no grandma on the Or I didn't read it. What's more feminine, red or a pastel color? It depends on your skin tone and the time. You know, I guess it just depends on your mood, the place that you're going. Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? What's the season? But both are pretty feminine to me. But um, if you're trying to get more, wear pastel. If you're trying to be like sexy and so Seductive, we're red. Mm -hmm. Um, Shira, does YouTube pay for view for watching the ad? I think I get paid more if y'all do watch the ad, but I still get paid whether you watch it or not. But yeah, if you watch it, I get paid. If you... mm -hmm. But they try to put them all in the first 15 minutes. I don't know why they do that. Because I, I think that they figure that that's when most people will watch up to 15 minutes. Well, most people will be. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shira. Love you. Love you, girl. What do you think about wearing braids? Um, I mean, I wouldn't wear them. My, my kids don't want to wear them because it's what, you know, how you're perceived depending on what, what you're trying to accomplish. So it's whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to, um, how you're trying to be perceived. It's up to you. Like you just, it's all up to you. I always tell people do what makes you comfortable, but some people, you know, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Some people can pull them off, but I always tell people, you know, just because Beyonce doing it, she don't wear those every day. Plus, she's already rich. She already got on me. She wasn't wearing them. She was not wearing them when she was trying to get, you know, get that money. Um, what if what to do if the sugar daddy is rude and calls you stupid? Should you be mean back and call him stupid back? No. I would use that as an opportunity. I can't help it. My mom couldn't pay for me to go to college. <laughs> and I would start crying and I would give me some fake tuition. Straight up and I'd be shopping the next day. I want to sign up for online school so I can be smarter. You want to help me? Instead of calling me stupid, you should be trying to help me. I want to learn. I take any opportunity and turn it into my favor. Call me stupid and you're gonna be paying my fake tuition and then we gonna know who's stupid. Okay. Call me stupid one more time and make you pay this fake tuition. <laughs> anyway. Yes girl, cry. Get you some fake, I mean, go, go download you some like applications online or Get you some brochures to the to the nearby community college or state college or whatever, and like crumple them up and keep them in your purse. 
I can't afford. Anyway. <sighs> mm-hmm. Just slip it on. She's selling you a fantasy. Well, welcome to fantasy land. Because it be, all these fantasies come true. Majority of the time, just because y'all can't pull them off. Y'all over there looking crazy. Don't mean they can't be pulled off by leveled up women. Thank you, Tori. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Where are classy places to freestyle after 6 p.m.? Or is it not a good idea? Um, I mean, it's a good idea. Like, you know, you can try a wine bar. You could try um, happy hour. You can try any place where it's a nice area. There's going to be people with money, period, you know, if it's a nice area and a nice neighborhood. Um, so I, I suggest like wine bars or happy hours in a nice neighborhood or a nice area. Um, I look so little because I don't work. I save all my strengths for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, long straight hair or long curly exotic hair. I found all races of men love the latter. Well, then where would you live? Where would they live, baby? Thank you, Crystal Mom. My style is more in Taylor Banana Republic, but my partner likes me in Hot Topic Goth type clothes. How do I mend the two stuff? Harry Potter. Hot Topic has a Harry Potter line and it's very preppy. Mm, the beat of Hermione. No, honestly, try to wear your style, but Choose black and maybe edge it up with the shoes and some accessory. Like you can still look cute. You can still look goth if you wear black. You do Ann Taylor black outfits. You can look more like a, you could call it, call it a bougie goth or a classic, or classy goth. I would go for classy goth. Um, just a few accessories here and there. Choose like classic pieces in black, maybe a little bit of red, you got the red, whatever. But I would definitely incorporate both styles because you can't, you know, if you're not comfortable in it, you're not going to be as confident as you could be. Try to marry the two styles. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's feminine way to sleep next to my wealthy man? I want to look cute without wearing a bonnet to bed yet protect my weave. Um, I don't know, girl. Like, you don't have to just like get you a satin pillowcase, girl. Let's get you a satin pillowcase. Satin pillowcase. Hey, James, I'm live. Anyway, thank you, El Valor. Sprinkle, sprinkle. To what to do when a boyfriend ignores your call? Call the other one. Call the other one. Mm -hmm. Where the other one at? Is he at work or is he free? Like, is he free from work? Is he doing something on his own free time or what? I don't know. If he's on his own free time, he's in his got his phone all the time when he's with you and he sees everything that comes through on his phone but decides to ignore your call when he's out and about, 
then that means you have the same freedom and the same privilege. And you should be using it at the same time. Okay? That's what that means. It means you need to be out not answering your phone as well. Um, do you call James Boo or Baby? No. You too old. Um, where, <laughs> where are your curtains from? Where did I get the curtains from? I don't even remember. I don't know. Either Amazon or Target. Probably Target. And then I got the lights off of Amazon. It's like curtain LED lights. You're an actress, guys in the industry are surrounded by leveled up women. How do I make them how do I make them serious about me? Well, you're gonna have to be a little bit different. If everybody's leveled up, you're gonna have to be unique. Develop a unique personality. Work on your personality. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'm thinking about starting a business that offers advice to single guys who are looking for a sugar mother pork rinds. You mean the Dusty Convention? You can make a lot of money on that. Do it around tax time, though. And they got fifty should money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, Shira, I get anxiety when men look at me. What should I do? I don't know why people. I don't know why you would get anxiety from a man looking at. Don't you want him to look at you? I think you should go out every day until you no longer have anxiety for men looking at you. I think you need to walk by. Bunch of men every day until it don't even matter no more. Until you expect it. Until you're disappointed that they're not looking at you. That's what, that's what you gotta do. Thank you, wine. Wine and bitch. Auntie, Shira, I just got my gold elixir. Any great tips I should know? I'm so excited. Yay! Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, well, I do like one dropper in the morning and one dropper in the afternoon. That's how I do mine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do I stay grateful in times of uncertainty? You seem like you are really calm and always beautiful all the time. I don't have times of uncertainty. I'm always certain, baby. I make sure that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't have a time of uncertainty. Because I made sure that I would never have a time of uncertainty. I set it up that way. Set it up. Um, I think if you're always working on bettering yourself, you don't have a time to think about uncertainties. You always working on yourself, you don't have time to think about uncertainties. You know, um, I'm always busy. That's why I don't have time to think about uncertainty because I'm always certain I'm busy. <laughs> Stay busy, baby. If I'm not reading a book, I'm researching or making a video or um, doing my level up cosmetics um, packaging or doing something, trying on a wig, watching TV with Sasha or Layla or, you know, um, doing something. But I'm always doing watch, catching up on a show that I missed. Doing something different that I've never done before. You gotta stay busy. You know, if there's absolutely nothing for me to do, then I'll be on Instagram, advertising my stuff. You know, just stay busy. You won't have time to think about stuff that haven't even happened or may not happen. Stay busy. Oh, we gotta be starting something, like MJ says. Um. Sure, I have anger issues. What should I do when I get mad and go crazy? The Chris Brown challenge? Go crazy challenge? <laughs> um, actually, I, I would say you need self-discipline and you need to learn how to control your emotions because that means you're not in control of yourself and someone else is. And if you don't control yourself, they control you. Period. So, 
control yourself. Don't allow other people to trigger you. Work on it. If you want to get mad, count to 10 and take 10 deep breaths until you cannot explode and get upset. It's just self-discipline. That's all it is. That's all you got to do. It's self-discipline. Would you cuss your, if you work and you have a boss, would you cuss them out? Probably not. You have some type of self-control. So maintain it. Your boyfriend cheated on you, so you slept with another man. I ended up telling him, why would you tell him? Why do y'all do this? I don't know. So unless your boyfriend liked you way more than you like him, you tell him, unless you're paying half them bills, he ain't taking you back, girl. Why would you tell them, though? You can get more by not telling them. You can use their guilt against them. I would never tell if I did anything. It would, I do like the man and deny, deny, deny. Why would you tell them? Just to see how he's going to look? It's ten times worse when a woman cheats on a man. To them, anyway. So, if when you tell him you cheated... You basically just told him you cheated the 10 times. It's not the same. <laughs> you said don't whop and tell. That's right, boss. Bossy, don't tell. You know why. Men are possessive creatures. And they don't want to stick their stuff where somebody already stuck it. Recently, anyway. That's why you don't tell. They, they probably wouldn't have cared, but you told them. You know what I'm saying? It's better that they don't know. Even if they think it or guess, they don't know for sure. So you never tell. Ever. You tell, that's your fault. And you deserve whatever happens after that. You should never tell. If you tell, it's because you want it to hurt him like he hurt you. And you did it for the wrong reason. You didn't benefit from it at all. And you both end up losing. If you're not benefiting from telling him, then why would you tell him? If, he, if he's not paying you or giving you any type of money, you did not benefit from telling him. What was the benefit? I would have never told. I would have used his guilt against him to buy me whatever I wanted so they could buy my forgiveness, even though I already cheated and whatever, whatever. I would definitely never tell. Period. Mm-hmm. Um, what are, you are right, I shouldn't have told. Nope, never tell him. Best way you can redeem it is, is lie and say you didn't do it and that you was just trying to make him jealous and then start crying even harder. That might, he might not want to believe you did it because men never want to believe the worst about a woman. So you might can pull it off if you cry good enough, girl. It's upsetting me and my home, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What's upsetting you, girl? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is that your name? Yes, yeah, her name. Telling is bursting their bliss bubble. Yeah, don't ever tell. Mm hmm. What is another way to look polished? Ooh. Well, if you don't have a lot of money, clean and simple is the best way. Like, very neat, well put together, everything in place. You don't have to do too much extra because, you know, like, even if I didn't have on this headband, and that's just like a black headband, this is still, this is still cute, right? Or this necklace, this is still kind of polished, right? So you don't have to do too much as long as it's neat and in place and it looks, you know, polished. You don't need extra. Just make sure when you don't have a lot, I would say go for more of the classic or quote unquote lady like preppy look because you can find so many cheap classic pieces anywhere like um thrift stores or just even online shopping at cheap stores most classic pieces you know they're just classic pieces and um they're not wow pieces but you can dress them up like um 
with a piece of jewelry or just maybe some red lipstick. You don't need a lot to look polished. So stay with neutral colors like blushes, nudes, pinks, blacks, tans. Um, you could do red, throw red in there every once in a while, but stay with a neutral color palette to look more polished. If you if you have to buy clothes, don't buy a bunch of crazy looking patterns. You know, I mean, every once in a while you could throw a wild card in there, but I would never freestyle on that. Um, but I would stick with neutrals for freestyling, definitely. Or just, you know, out and about. Um, do men care about body count? Should you lie? I, if a man asks me that question, they're they're broke. They don't have enough money for me. Because only broke men ask that question. Period. Okay. If if you if your man if, if whoever you're dating is still asking you about a body count, they're broke. Period. That's not grown men question. So. I'll give them my real body count, like the, the number of people that I've probably killed. Keyword, probably. Um, through indirect forces, of course. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I killed a man once because I was mad at him. He didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeled over. I didn't touch him. Uh, so that's one. I think somebody else had a car accident after I wished them dead. That's two. Let's see. The next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, they can't directly link it back to me, but I'm taking credit for it. <laughs> right? Can you block Mandy? Yeah, y'all can block Mandy. Mandy, how's your new job greeting at Walmart? How you doing over there? They gave you a raise yet, girl? <laughs> Christ is the only way to the kingdom. I do agree, Mandy. So you need to get some. Sure, what would you do if you're embarrassed on a date with a sugar daddy? Remind myself of how embarrassing it is to be broke and not be able to pay my bills. Or how embarrassing it is to have to get up every day and fight the rush hour traffic and ask, some, and ask someone permission to use the bathroom as a grown woman. I don't think there's much to be embarrassed about. Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, I would not be embarrassed because I know what everyone's thinking. I bet she don't have to work. I bet he pay all her bills. I need to get me one of them if I can. Okay, that's what I feel. My sugar daddy make more than all y'all put together who's sitting over there snickering. That's what you need to be thinking. Christ is God returned as his son, exactly. So, break it down, Manny. You know what it is. Okay. Mandy's so sure she can't even use her own words. Break it down, Mandy. What is it, Mandy? Is it a physical thing? Is it a frequency? Is it a spirit? What is it? Is it a covenant? She don't know nothing. All she know how to do is regurgitate what the, they say in the church. Girl, you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. Go become a follower of Christ. Go become a follower of Christ. Thank you, Emily. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, Shira. I'm going to be traveling with a wealthy man this weekend. And... Any tips for getting money and not giving him sex? Yes. Get your own room. Have him pay for your own room. A separate room. It could be a connecting room, but you can close that door. Tell him you like to get dressed alone. You don't like to share a room with 
you know, you need your privacy, A, B, C, and D, and then maybe we can open the door or whatever. But tell them you need your own room. Okay. And be very classy about it. But tell him before you get there. That way he can go ahead and take care of the, you know, the front desk and stuff. Mm-hmm. Sure, how to get money and not give it up. Don't give it up. I mean, those two things don't go together. I don't know why y'all keep putting them together. Okay, y'all put them together because y'all put them together. They don't go together. When you go to the car dealership, and if you hand them some money and it, it ain't enough to ride off the lot with, are they riding off the lot with it? No. Have they invested enough? Do they have a down payment big enough for them to ride this ride? No, probably not. So when they have invested enough towards your down payment, you might, if you choose to let them take them, take them, take yourself for a spin, that's fine. But I'm definitely not letting somebody ride off the lot and they haven't put the down payment on it. Okay. How to become more confident. Look good, feel good, baby. Get up every day, do your hair, your makeup, dress nice, put on some nice clothes, shoes, perfume, whatever. Make yourself look good. People will give you compliments. You'll feel good about yourself. You'll inspire other people to feel good about themselves by going home and also putting more effort into their look because you inspire people when they see you. They'll be like, oh, I need to, I need to fix myself up. You know, when they see someone fixed up, oh, that's cute together. I might dress up tomorrow. So when you inspire other people and you feel good every day, your confidence level goes up and you also raise other people's confidence level. So if you can raise someone else's confidence, because of how you take care of yourself, then yours will automatically raise. You just got to do it every day. Okay. Um, your man's insecure. I'm really attractive and people around me, when we hang out, keep complimenting me. What should I do? Say thank you, baby. And tell him how lucky he is. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That means he better get his money up and keep it up. Or, or else. Hmm. Thank you. I really appreciate that. They used to do that to me and James all the time. You a lucky man. Lucky man. You know, old people, they be all up in your face. You a lucky man. Ooh, you a lucky man. Mm -hmm. You know, the old man look. <sighs> they would be giving James the props. The men would, the women. Oh, you're so pretty. Basically, your boyfriend's a lucky man. That's what, that's what they're saying. He don't need to be insecure. He need to get his money up so he can keep it. I feel good every day. I've been level up on my bank account for years. Good for you, girl. I mean, I'm sorry, Ken, sir. Good for you, Ken. Get your keep your money up, Ken. Um, keep your money. I mean, keep your money up, Ken. You, you might be able to find Barbie and buy her a dream house. Mm-hmm. Ishika, Ishika, I told you, Ishika, it don't go together. You're not listening. Money and sex do not go together. Not if you're classy. If he found you somewhere on Tinder in the back of the page with a butt picture, of course he's going to expect that. So if you're meeting dudes online and your pictures aren't classy, then of course they're going to expect that. But those things don't really go together. And what are you wearing? How are you meeting these people that are asking you for that? Okay. Are you meeting them in a place where that's what they think the place is for? Are you meeting them in person? 
Are you just afraid to know your value and not think that those things don't, that those things go together? Because I don't think they go together at all. Okay. Um, I need advice on how to get cash out of men. I am a total beginner. Cry, lie, cry, lie, rhyme. Cry and lie. Cry and lie. Cry and lie. You need some new tires? What's a ball tire? How much is a tire? I need all new tires. All my tires are bald. Oh no. What am I going to do? I gotta say. Hello. Look at Chi Chi. Hey. You bored? You, you took the TV and played your basketball game? You want me to play his basketball game? Hey, you, want, you got a lot of followers on TikTok, right? So I'm gonna go play in my makeup and tell them to go shop level up makeup. I don't have a lot of talking about this stuff. What do you mean? Look, you going to go advertise me pretty soft? No. Okay. I don't even have a lot of clothes. You have enough, girl. I'm buying the makeup, girl. I'm just joking. All right. Um, Shira, sure, what do you do when attached to a cheap sugar daddy? I'm not attached to no cheap sugar daddy. Um, Sasha, I'll just be here. quarantine had me feeling real down and let a dusty slip in. I, it's never worth it. I ended up two days ago after he popped up at my apartment watching you not to get my level up energy back. Girl, what? sprinkle, sprinkle, girl, you let a dusty in during quarantine. <laughs> well, it was quarantine, you know. But hopefully you had on your mask and you didn't, you know, inhale too much dust. Um, discipline, baby. I don't know what to tell you. Have more discipline. <laughs> well, you're back, right? Mm-hmm. you back. If I had a son, would I raise him to be a provider as well? Of course I would. do. <laughs> <laughs> um so I hope that doesn't fall on your head. That would be very terrible. What to do if your sugar daddy is falling in love with you? Ugh, you ask for more money. Sprinkle sprinkle. That means he'll give it to you. Time to go get to the car dealership. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. What you doing back there? Mm hmm I have some I have some crazy trolls. Lies about Jesus. No, I don't have to lie about Jesus. <laughs> you mean black Jesus or what? About no one brings it up except for y'all, because that's y'all don't have any else. Nothing else to stand on. Level down. <laughs> you said Jesus ain't white nor black. What is he then, baby? What's Jesus? Did he walk around see through? No. He was Jesus. an alien. Jesus is God, not a man. So Jesus never came to earth? He was an alien, Sasha? Sasha said he was an alien. Yeah, Jesus. What's that? Oh. Your prophet was a fraud. Who's a prophet? I don't have a prophet. What's a prophet? Girl, what's your cult leader name, Mandy? Mandy. What's your cult leader name? Did he let he let you have access to the internet today, girl? You ordering the, the canned food for the week? Oh god. Thank you, Ukano, Ukano, Sprinkle, Sprinkle. 
you, girl. You ordered the canned food for the for the group this week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, here you go. Go hang this up for me. Thank you. I love you. Here, go, go get $5 of Robux, girl. You earned it. You did good to, this week at school. Love you. Close the door. Five bucks of Robux. That's what she wanted. That's why she was lingering. She was going to ask, but she didn't want to ask on camera. For her game. Um... How do you pay taxes from the money from gifts? I don't want the IRS coming after me. Um, start a business, baby. Put in your business name as inventory. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Company car. Write it off. Put him... Put your sugar daddy as a 1% investor in your business. Okay, there you go. Spring, sprinkle. Someone says get it in cash. That's right. Mm hmm If you get over a certain amount of gifts, like if they're worth over a certain amount, and it's in your name and it's been registered with the government, like cars, houses, expensive, you know, stuff, they might can trace it. But if not, don't worry about it. Sasha looks like me. You working out, girl? Oh, yeah. Instead of playing how to get, how do you become hard to forget on a first date with a sugar daddy? You look good, smell good, be a little bit more intriguing and mysterious. Not like the rest. <laughs> Throw a little air of mystery in there. When should you expect the sugar daddy to ask for it? When you allow him to have, to ask for it? When <laughs> he think he'd have put the down payment down? <laughs> He didn't pay a lot of money when y'all been dating exclusively for a while, when you don't work anymore, when you don't pay no bills no more. That's when you. Thank you, Upano. Upano. How do I start the group level up? Uh, go down to the description bar in the video, scroll all the way down, click on Detailers Facebook, and message Detailer to um, see if you can get to the group. It's a paid group, but it's, I think it's the second to last link. Or the last link in the in the description box. Um, <laughs> how to stay unbothered? Don't care. Don't care if they're not contributing or benefiting you. If he says no to the ring, should I bring up the house or condo business right there? No. Because then it seems like you're asking for something and you're, it's, it's like a little kid, you know, you don't, you want to be strategic. You can't just go into something without strategy. You got to play mental games. If you're not playing mental game, you're going to lose. The man is pretty, um, the, if, he's, if he's older, he can smell game a mile away. You have to be strategic with it. You have to work it into your plans. You have to be smart with it. You have to be smart with it. You know, you Sometimes you need to take a good old pause and a break and gather your information, gather his information, gather some more money from him, and you need to stay calm because sometimes a plan needs to take its time, okay? So take your time and plan like an evil genius, okay? You get more that way. If you're trying to rush everything because you're wanting instant gratification, you're not going to get as much and you're going to lose it's going to backfire. 
sit down and write down your master evil genius plan and get your money. That means you have to set it up. You have to mention it here. Um, hints and clues that might lead up to this later on and then execute it. Thank you. Now, how do I start the book level up? Oh, yeah, I already answered that. So just be patient and map out your evil plan. Okay. Get you a piece of paper and a pen. Think about all his triggers, anything that emotionally triggers him, and see how you can work it in. Okay? You gotta be smart. This is this is mental chess, not checkers. Okay. You just need to sit down and think a little bit. This is the game. Yes, it is. I just triggers. Um, why do so many women accept the life of working themselves to the ground? Because they don't feel that they can do anything better. They don't feel like they're ever going to find a man that will take care of them. Mm. Because they don't put in the effort to do so. How to make in somebody regret what they did. If they did it and they're not regretting it already, then they probably won't regret it. Like, if I did something and somebody was going to try to make me regret what I did, I would not regret it at all. I would be glad I did it because they're still bothering me. You know what I'm saying? So I would never, no one regrets what they did. They think about it, they'll do it because they know they can get away with it. Or because they wanted to and they were going to do it anyway. And they don't regret it. If someone doesn't regret something, that means they wanted to do it. You know, so you can't make someone regret something. They might lie to you and say that they regret it, but that doesn't mean they really regret it. They might be thinking about it now. Okay. Um, you wear the neutral colors, mauves, and different shades of browns. And you like to wear white. And always come to heels always. Oh, be great compliment. Yeah, that's that's a good color scheme. Mm-hmm. She will help. I got a question. No, you say that being overly nice is anti-seductive, and I can't seem to stop being nice and smile whenever it's my first school, etc. What can I do? Practice. Practice your resting face. But you don't have to smile so big. You can still smile. You know. This is a smile. Stop trying to please everybody. That's what you gotta do. If you're if you're working too hard to please people and they ain't working as hard to please you, you're doing too much. Just think about it like that. Yes. If you're doing too much, tone it down. People think you're trying to overcompensate for something or being a pigmisha to make friends. Your female professor hates you. I don't know what I did. Girl, she probably hate everybody, baby. Maybe you look like the woman her husband cheated on her with. Who knows? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sometimes that be it, though, girl. Sometimes that really be it. You look like that girl he was left. Is it easy to be pleasant, smile, and approach? It is easy to be pleasant, smile, and be approachable. Another key to being seductive. Don't try so hard. It's, it's a natural thing. You need to practice it if you don't know how to be seductive. You need to walk around in heels. You need to walk around in long flowing robes and, you know, your glass and your, you know, extra, be extra at home. Practice at home. When you're at home, that's your time to practice. So when you get out there in the field, it's easy and it looks like effortless, okay? 
when you're at home, if you're not practicing, if you're not wearing heels and, you know, some feathers and bows and, you know, with your fancy glass and made up and, you know, extra, if you're not practicing at home, how do you think you're going to look when you get out there? You'll be all fumbling, nervous, looking crazy. Practice at home. Every time you're at home, practice. That's what you got to do. And it will just come naturally because you'll be so used to doing it. Y'all think that people just turn it on and turn it off. They have to practice and rehearse just like an actress or an entertainer. That's what you got to do. You got to practice. She will have, you have to be seductive or cute or innocent. All three, depending on what you need, what you want, what time, and, and what the situation calls for. How are you dressed? Are you dressed innocent today? Well, then pull off innocent. Are you dressed seductive? Pull off seductive. What would you call a bougie sleepover? I need help. A bougie sleepover. Hmm. Um. Hmm. A bougie slumber party? I don't know. Bougie 24 hour challenge? <laughs> That'll be on YouTube, right? Thank you, Gallery of Sprinkle Sprinkle. My Depop is all class. I do. I sell clothes for cheap and would appreciate the support. Sprinkle Sprinkle. All class. Um, you sell clothes for cheap and would appreciate support. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I appreciate that. Y'all go check out her shop. Um, you can't count how many women hate you, Maria. <laughs> Girl, don't try. You're going to lose count. Because them haters is in abundance these days. When they know you're rich, how do I get money and not involve family things? Lie. Tell them, a, tell them a fake name. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If they already know you're rich, tell them your, your family not giving you no money. You cut it off. <laughs> That's right. How to meet men during the pandemic had this been discussed. Um, honestly, the same places that are open, like grocery stores. I've answered it so many times. Go to the normal places in the rich neighborhoods. Men are out and about. You don't have to meet them at a club or a bar. Go ask them for help at the grocery store, reaching an item, you know, whatever. Just get out there where the rich side of town where you know they have money and be seen. That's what you gotta do. My state's over too. <laughs> if a man is trying to impress you by spending money, should you be more receptive and full of gratitude or just a little? You should be full of um, gratitude because that's what he's looking for. He's looking for you to respond, like, so he can do it again. Uh huh. Where did you get your bag again? It's um actually listed on the link below. It's like an Amazon link to my um one of my Amazon storefronts that I suggest products to you guys. It's not my store, but it's just a lot of stuff that I've gathered that I actually have that I bought, and then I put them all there in one place for you. Just look through there. You'll see it's like the second listing. But it's under in, under the description bar. Um, yeah, don't be overexcited. Just be very happy and tell them thank you. How can you make a dentist like you should you lick his fingers? No, that's nasty. Yeah, let's lick fingers during the corona. You don't know where them fingers been. Girl, they, his fingers be in people's mouth all day. Mm 
You said you plan. I hope so. Brush your teeth and 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 some lingerie. That'll turn them on. Floss, girl, floss. And then pull it out real slow. That's how he'll be. The slow floss. Yes, get in between those teeth and that gum line. What do you do with sugar daddies that think because they give you money, they own you? Um, they don't really own you because slavery is illegal. Um, I would I would make them regret that by always like whenever they wanted to own me, I would own a problem that will cost money to pay for. <laughs> Okay, so every time they had a problem, they don't have to pay. For example, if they're trying to control you and say, oh, well, you don't need to do that. I was like, oh, okay, well, um, then I need some money to hire someone else to do it because I told my mom that I would take care of that for her. So do you want to pay for A, B, C, and D? You want to pay for someone to go over there and do the stuff that I need to have done for my mother? Or do you see you gotta make up stuff, you gotta lie, and you gotta make it cost money every time they try to control you. That way, when they start to try to control you, they know it's going to cost them. So they they stop after a while. It's like training a dog. Every time I try to control her, it costs me more money. Let me shut up. Make everybody, anything that someone throws towards you, if it doesn't, if you can't flip it to make money, you need to learn how. Okay. Make it make money. If it's negative, make it positive. And money. What do you suggest that a young girl to do that has lost her spark? I'm 20, I'm 33 and lost no friends or potentials. So go out by yourself, girl. Get dressed up. Put your makeup on. Put your cute dress on and go out. Go be seen. Go walk around. Love yourself, girl. Date yourself. Go let the world see you. Don't hide yourself in the world. Celebrate life. I don't know. Just go out. Get out there. You don't have to have friends. You just need to be seen and you need to um, feel good about yourself. If, if someone wants to, you know, buy you a drink or take you out on a date or whatever, great. Get out there. Girl, go. How to deal with a rude boyfriend. My boyfriend wouldn't be rude to me. Girl backbone. That's how. Stop letting people be rude to you. Okay. Put him in his place. I don't know. Like, honestly, like, ask him what he said again. Ask him to repeat himself when he's rude. That way he can hear himself. You know, I always, you know if he's rude to you, you know, why are you with him? So, excuse me, could you say that one more time? I'm a what? Okay. Just wanted to make sure that's what you said. He know he ain't gonna get none no time soon. No nice treatment, no nothing. Don't ask, don't ask him. Don't ask me to make him no food, no drinks. Sometimes you just gotta be blunt. You can be nice about it. Just make him repeat it slowly. So he can realize what he's doing. I'm like, okay, I was just making sure that's what you said. He don't know what you think and he's scared now. Because he don't know what to do. Because you didn't be sad and let him do it. You actually called him out, questioned him, and then get mad. Do you know how scary that is? 
All right, then start start doing that. You're gonna think twice next time. Watch. Well, people only do what you let them do. Ask them to repeat himself and don't do a thing. It's like, oh, okay, I was just making sure that's what you said. And go about your business. That will scare him so bad he will never do it again. Because <clears throat> he don't know what you're up to. You want to embrace your shadow. You don't know how to do it. Do, do everything you want to do bad. That's all you got to do. Go have fun. Be the villain for once. Be the villain. That's all you got to do. So you want to embrace your, that's, that's your other side that you don't allow to play. You going to be a villain. Draw your eyebrows on thick that day like I be doing sometimes. Get that eyebrow pencil working. So you have the villainous look. Get, get into character, girl. Go, go do what you want to do. Uh -huh. Should you be rude back? No, you should scare them by not reacting at all because they don't know what to think. Because if you be rude back, he'll be rude back and then it'll just keep going. So make him repeat himself and say, okay, I was just making sure that's what you said. Smile and don't do a thing. He's going to be so messed up in his mind. He's going to wonder what you're planning for him. He's going to have to sleep with one eye open. He will never take drinks or food from you and, you know, until he figures you out. He thinks you're going to tell somebody. He thinks you're going to tell his mother or your mother. Okay. He thinks you're going to break up with him. Maybe he's scared. He doesn't know what to do. Just leave it like that. Stop trying to play. Stop trying to stand up now. When you should have stood up in the beginning. It's too late now. You have to scare him. Period. You got a thick, you got thick eyebrows with sweet, white, sweet face. Oh. Then put on some red lipstick, girl. Okay, then you can be a villain. The perfect response, yes. Because they don't want to repeat themselves. When the guy forgot to give you a gift, how do you react? Tell him he can make it up to you with cash app. PayPal or take you to buy it right now. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or you can send them your Amazon wish list and have them send it. Okay, you take substitutions, baby. Um, Treat it like a business. You'll be fine. But do it in a classy way. I just say it all in one sentence. Like, you know, you forgot to, you know, you forgot my birthday, right? Or, you know, you forgot my gift, right? So guess what? Uh, I sent you an email um, and it has my Amazon wish list, or, you know, you can just PayPal me and I'll go get it myself because I know you probably was busy. You're going to get it because he ain't going to want to argue with you. Just send it over real quick, you know. Because I, I'm, I might not be home and I don't want packages left on my door. So the sooner we order, at least I'll know what the tracking is. You're already on gift with his credit card or something. Tell him to send you a cash app, PayPal or something. How do you flirt with a mask with some lashes? I was flirt I, I wasn't flirting, but it looks like you're flirting when you have on lashes and you blink your eyebrow I, eyelid and you have on a mask and think you flirt with her. I'm just gonna use the lashes. Look, look, I'm gonna use this towel. Pretend it's a mask. You see that? The eyes have it all. Do your eye makeup, baby. Get you some level up cosmetic lashes, girl. Get you these right here. Go to levelupcosmetic.us and you get these 
beautiful magnetic lashes are the ones that I have on. And you do your eyeshadow, your eyebrows. You can also get the level of eyebrow pencil or gel. And you put the lashes on, you get the lids, lids to blink it. That's how you flow. There you go. Mm -hmm. What kind of men date women that don't need them financially? Are they dusties? What kind of men date women who don't need them financially? Men who plan to help you build, help them, men who plan to build a savings account around the fact that you're going to pay for all your expenses and half of, you know, the other expenses. A man who's trying to save up faster. A man who doesn't plan with, to be with you forever. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, what do you think of guys cat calling you? Too young. Okay. Can you do it? I'm sure I have one very similar to this on my um, beauty channel, Sheer Star. So you can go check out my makeup channel and my haul channel. Yes. Um. Sheer, what to do when guys cat phone? Oh, okay, so that, yeah. They're too young. They're around to laugh at them. So. <laughs> I think people's environments are different, so they don't do that where I live. Okay, people will call the police. <laughs> like, they would think that they were mentally insane and they would end up calling the police. Literally. <laughs> or they would think that they were drunk, intoxicated in public, and they would probably call the police. Um, Sheila, what type of guys are you usually attracted to physically rich? Rich, money. I literally am only tra attracted to, um, well, I would say attracted how, like, because sex ain't free, baby. So if I was sexually attracted to them, they'd have to have money. That's number one. Number two, I don't plan on giving nothing free. So I wouldn't be attracted to someone that couldn't afford it or couldn't afford it to date me or whatever. So I just wouldn't be attracted to them. I would not, oh, they're cute. They're attractive. They would be attracted. But they, I would not be attracted to them. See, there's a difference. They are attractive as how, how they look, but I am not attracted. There's a difference. So there's a Ladies need to learn the difference. You can find someone who may be attractive, but you are not attracted. They don't go together. The two don't have to go together. They can look good, but you don't have to want them. There's plenty of men that I find um, who are attractive, but I'm not attracted. Mm -hmm. Why are women attracted to characteristics? Because they're being attracted from their low, they're, they're attracted to men from their lower nature. They don't think up here. They, they think down here instead of up here. They don't think money. They don't think future. They don't think lifestyle. They think, ooh, six pack. Ooh, you know, he's cute. I just want to sleep with him. You know, they don't think, oh, he's going to buy me some real estate. He's going to give me money. I ain't never going to work again. Do anything like that. So that's how I'm thinking. That's how I think. <laughs> hey, Sheer, what are some feminine beginner luxury purse brands between Kate Spade and Tory Burch or neither? I like both. I have both. Um, I do like Kate Spade because it's so classic and feminine and chic. I get the sad thing is, 
I get way more compliments on my Kate Spade purses than any other purse. Um, but I do have a cute black Tory Burch purse. And I also think um, those two are pretty good. Those two are pretty good. If you can afford like um, something a little bit more like if you can afford or you can get gifted a nice purse, like a small purse, like maybe a, a baby Louis Vuitton or uh, something like that, or a Chanel, or you can even buy it pre-used, like on Poshmark or something, I would definitely go for that. Um, but Kate Spade and Toy Burst should be fine. Ted Baker, mm-hmm. I like Ted Baker, Toy Burst. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if you wait for the end of the year sales or the annual sales, you can get it for like 70% off. Or if you have an outlet, you can get an outlet sale or whatever. Or you can, you can buy sometimes new with tags on Poshmark or the real deal or whatever. You can get it super cheap. Okay. She would let me fly you out to DC. Um, for what? <laughs> What's in DC? Some shopping? I could shop online. Send me that. Send me a cash app. Yes. You see a Trump. <laughs> she would how. To have good smelling cat. Take a bath, take a shower, be vegan, sprinkle, sprinkle. Stop eating meat and dairy. You be good. Can you do that? What makes you happy? I make myself happy. <laughs> bursting out into song at random times walking past a mirror <laughs> YouTube you guys um, Michael Jackson cash apps so many things new makeup Makeup brushes, level of cosmetics. These brushes in particular make me very happy. They're two sided and saves space. I see it walking past the mirror. I sure did. I didn't think y'all caught that one. <laughs> Rachel Forbes, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate it. How did you practice sexual discipline to get the man or husband that you wanted? Sexual discipline? You mean like S and M stuff? Talk about it. You mean not doing stuff or doing what? Y'all gotta be specific. I don't know what that means. What the heck? Like not giving it up. Don't give it up. Stay busy, baby. Get up. Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I forgot to catch up on my show and go watch it. By the end, they'll be asleep. Hmm. How to get guy to take you on nice date, not cheap. Don't be cheap yourself. Look nice yourself. Look like 
the type of woman who does not do cheat dates. <laughs> Be extra, overdress, level up, wear makeup, your hair, you know, nails, feet. Look like you don't do cheat dates. People only treat you how you treat yourself. Okay. You look cheap. That's why you get cheap. XO, XO, same. Shame on you. It's so rude. Only I can say that in a nicer way. Try to look expensive. There you go. You don't have to spend a lot of money to look expensive. Just try to look a little bit extra so that they don't try to take you anywhere cheap. My sugar mother paid for our first date. I was dirt broke. Oh, that's so sweet. Pork rinds. She must really like you. <laughs> that was a much nicer way. When somebody suggests a cheap date, laugh and say try again. No, laugh and think it's a joke and say no for real where we're going. <laughs> Oh my God, that is so funny. No, for real, where are we going? You're so silly. You're so funny. You're hilarious. So for real, where are we really going? That's how you do that. What is better, hard to get a woman to be mesmerized by them or make them jealous? Um, I think childish games, men can see through that too easily. Mental games that are more high, uh, that are more mental, are intriguing. Leave the jealous, petty stuff to high school. You, if you're dealing with older men, you need to play the game mental chess. If you look good, it's easy to make anybody jealous. That's not that's not very hard. What you want to do. is make him think that you don't care. When they feel like they've lost their grip, that's when they want you most. Right. Because they know what you're doing. They know what you're doing when you're trying to make them jealous. It's too easy. How to do love yourself when you aren't where you want to be. Take a step each day to get there and eventually you will be. You know, you gotta love yourself today, tomorrow, and the next day. And when you get there. Otherwise, you're not doing it for yourself. Thank you, Rachel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is what we drive important to get a good car? Man, like a Lexus versus a Toyota. Girl, if you drive in a nice car, they probably won't want to do anything for you. So a regular car is fine, baby. Regular car is fine. Just keep it clean. Keep it clean. Um, what if you're on a date and he doesn't order anything? Want to order anything? Girl, he broke. Thank you, Rollins. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Rolina, I'm sorry. Sugar Daddy was super generous. Spent 50K on me in three weeks. Want to buy a car, but not like I like. Insecure and remind me of how much he already spent. We didn't have sex yet. I'm scared he'll turn cheap. How to gain his trust. But, um, Get the car. Make sure it's in your name. Then go trade it in. And get what you want. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't you know how to get the car, trade it in, put it as a down payment for your next car that you really want? That's all you gotta do. You know how they have like a grace period where if you don't like the car, you can bring it back, bring it back. Bring it right on back next day. As soon as you wake up, get dressed, go right back and go get you the car that you want. Put that as the down payment.
Mm-hmm. What if your husband used you and divorced you now moved to another state? How can you get over that? Get another one. Find your next victim. Get out and be on the prowl. Don't go hunt your prey. Yeah. Set a trap for the next one. What you doing? You need to move the whole state away. It's time, it's time to capture another one. Get back out there. Okay. There's no use of thinking about somebody that's not thinking about you. Go get another one. You gone, it's too late, it's over. Learn your lesson to get another one. There's nothing you can do to get over it but to get another one. <laughs> because you'll be too busy with the other one to think about that one. Mm-hmm. Is karma real? Because men seem happy because they don't care. Men don't care. They have they don't care. Women care too much. That's why they're always hurt. Y'all care too much. Stop caring and you stop being hurt. <laughs> just, just like they do. Like men don't care because they don't get emotionally attached like that. They don't really care enough. So don't do don't do that either. Why would you get emotionally attached? And you already know they don't care, so why would you? Mm-hmm. Sure, if the same person watches your video a few times, maybe. I don't know. I don't be asking. I just, I don't even look at how much I make. I just put it in an account. I don't care. I don't even really spend it. Um, <laughs> like, I don't really look. I, every, I might look how much I make, like, every couple of months. But I don't really pay attention to how much I make. Because the money just goes into my account. I don't really even spend it. It's just stacking. Stacking. Spent my money fast ago. Um, you're scared of aging. You're 18. How do I make sure I age well? Start now. Wash your face. Take care of your skin. Drink water. Don't do too much. Don't drink too many um, alcoholic beverages. You know, moisturize. Start now. I, I I used to be the same way, and I started taking care of my skin in high school. Okay. You did it. Start down. Take care of your skin and drink water, baby. Um, there's a detachment video. Like, I, I mean, y'all have to realize and understand. I mean, I guess I would be sad too, but I would, I'd be out the next day. I'd be sad with somebody else, but and not thinking about them, and then I wouldn't be sad no more. And, you know, I I can create the life that I wanted instead of being sad I don't have the life I had. I can create the life I want with someone else or just with myself until someone else decides they want to come along. But I'm not going to sit in the past and cry. I mean, I'm over it because it's over. That's how you have to look at it. You can't sit there and think about what's no longer there. It's like... It's over because it's over. That's how you get over it, because it's over. You know? And then you go and find another thing to do. You find another friend. You find a hobby. You do something to take your mind off of it. Pushing, like, starting a business is a good idea to get over anything, because you're going to be focused on that, and it's going to make you money. So, if you don't want to go get another one, then start a business. Make some money. At least you won't be worried about it. You'll be busy. What if Sugar Daddy does not show you his friends because you are young and set away? But no, I mean, he embarrassed. You his best kept secret, girl. It may also be because you look too young. Uh, if you maybe look more sophisticated, you know, 
classic or classy he might but if you look very young he might be embarrassed of what his friends will say or the rumors they'll spread or whatever so I mean he can keep you a secret girl he paying you but he can keep you a secret ladies do you know what we need assets not liabilities mm -hmm. yeah like honestly I don't know the best way to tell y'all something. If a man don't want you, be done. I don't know why women don't want to be done with men that are done with them. That's a, that's the silliest thing. It's like you going up to your job that just fired you and begging for your job back every day. Have some pride, baby. Um, I'm just like. I wouldn't even feel sad. I would be like, he's lost. He is lost. I'm going to get me a better one. You know, you have to hype yourself up. You have to hype your own mind up. You have to create what you want, not what it is or what you think it is. Create what you want. That's how you do it. You can't just sit there and be sad or how do I get over this? You are over it because he ain't with you no more. So you over it. It's done. What you gonna do now? What, what life are you gonna create for yourself? That's what you gotta do. What life are you creating for yourself? You say his loss, but you miss him. <laughs> I miss him. Well, I, I can't help with people. Miss, but you know, I don't know I'll be too much having fun. I'll be having fun too much. If it doesn't mean anything. She wrote, should boyfriend show you to his friends, and if he doesn't, is that a red flag? He, I wouldn't be worried about his friends, maybe. How much money he giving me? You know what I'm saying? That's that's the least of my words. Where where his money? Is he spending money on you? Is he taking you to nice places? If he ain't spending money on you and he won't show you to his friends, bad sign. Okay. Exit quick, fast, and in a hurry. Should we be judging men by the cars they just drive, or do some providers drive the beers? Um, how much money they spend on you, baby? They could have several cars. Judging by how much they gonna spend, how eat, how generous they are with you. If if you're just meeting them. How confident they are, how fast they offer to buy you a drink, how fast they take have the masculine take charge type, you know, attitude, how confident they are, how how much they're asking you uh, about yourself and not trying to see if you make enough money, if you have kids or what you bring to the table. If they're asking those questions, they won't. If they if those questions don't even bother them or cross their mind. Most likely, they got some money, okay? So, pay attention. What do you do with a sugar daddy who used to give you money, but he stopped? Stop, stop seeing him. That's, when the money stops, you stop. That's how it works. Be busy until he starts offering some money. And get another one, too. Sure, what do you do with sugar daddy? Yeah, get another one, baby. Time, time is winding up for y'all too. Just go get another one. Or tell them what you want. And if you don't do it, then replace. Replace. Pork Ryan's not a troll. He's just he just being silly. You got four hundred and seventy. Five thousand dollars. 
33. In the bank, but my sugar, hold on, it's going too bad. My sugar mama pay every time we go out. She don't want me spending the money she gave me on her, as, as it should be. Should I pay for at least one dinner, Sheila? No. Save your money and cash out me. Duh. Um, how to stop men from asking you for advice even when it's my profession? Don't tell them your profession. Lie about your profession. They can't ask you about anything having to do with being a part-time receptionist. But you're going to ask me how to answer a phone, how to take a message. Lie. If a man is asking where do you work and how many kids do you got, what do you bring to the table? He, just goes, he sure is. I'm your favorite troll. <laughs> You're afraid men will label you a gold digger and tell everyone else. Well, they, at least they know to come with their money, baby. And that you are a challenge and you don't have low standards and you ain't taking nothing but the best. Good, let them know. Nothing, nothing good is free. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It might work to your advantage, I promise. What about smoking free weed with sugar daddy? I'm too classy. I'm too bougie for that guy. Okay, if he stopped giving you money or he's not showing you to his friends and you smoking free weed, what if that sound more like a dusty? Whose unemployment wore off? Okay, I don't know. Mm hmm. I don't do any drugs. I'm I'm vegan. I do drugs. I'm too bougie. <laughs> right. What do I think of cannabis smoking in general? Take CBD oil instead. Save your lips. Save your gums. Save your lungs. That's what I think. Um, let's just say this, and y'all gonna be mad at me, but it's just, y'all like my truth, right? I, I wouldn't have friends who smoke weed. <laughs> you we wouldn't be friends, especially if I knew. If I didn't know, or you did it on your own, in your own house, or away from me, fine. But if I know, I ain't, I'm not gonna be a friend. The reason is, is because, um, <laughs> To me, it almost seems as if that's a little bit trashy. Sorry. Um, it just seems trashy to me. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure in some states it's legal and everybody's doing it. But to me, it just seems a little bit trashy. So, I mean, you can take CBD oil all day. But to me... I'm a little bit too old to be hanging around with weed smokers. Like, I'm old. I'm old, okay? I'm not 20, I'm not 30, I'm 41. If I'm still hanging around with people that smoke weed, something wrong with me. <laughs> That's all. Um, what type of places should you hang out to meet men with money? Places in expensive areas of town where every car in the parking lot is very nice. Anywhere. It could be the Walgreens. It could be a little restaurant. It could be a place to go shopping. It could be the, you know, the gas station in a very rich area. Anywhere where men can see you. Any place where they have a lot of income. Find the richest neighborhood and go over there. Go shop over there. Go work out over there. Go to the restaurants over there. Go pump your gas over there. See what happens. See who you bump into. Okay. Uh, 
I remember a long time ago, we used to live in a very expensive, exclusive neighborhood. And, uh, the gas station is always a very nice car, right? And I used to go to this gas station to pump my gas. And I would always see the same person pumping their gas. And, it, and every every time I pump gas, they would be there at the same time. And so I'm like, well, if I was single, you know, this would be a good opportunity for to meet someone like that. So them gas stations chat. Go to the rich area, get some gas stations, or to the gym. You see people go to the gym. It's like a routine. Go at the same time. You all start seeing each other. You all start locking eyes, passing by each other. And before you know it, somebody's going to speak. Just saying. Go to the rich neighborhoods and go to the gyms. Go to the gas stations. Go to the grocery stores. Go to the bars. If there's bars open over there, go to the restaurants over there. Whatever. But stay over on that side kind of if that's what you're trying to meet. Don't go into your own neighborhood where you don't want nobody. They ain't got enough money for you. Go to the neighborhood with the money. The area of town with the money. Mm -hmm. You said you, you smoke weed. You use a smokeless vape cartridge for pain. Okay. Well, if it's a prescription, hey, okay. If it's a prescription, it's a prescription, girl. But don't they have CBD oil now? Why would men give you the stare and a little smirk on the face like you know what they are thinking, which clearly not. They're trying to flirt with you. Don't you know recognize flirting? Hmm. I have never smoked weed and never will. I do not date men who smoke weed either. Good for you, fire spawn. Now, I don't mind the medicinal purposes I mean, the, yeah, of CBD oil, right? if you're using it as a medicine, but if you're abusing it, you know, no. Sure, if a guy in a luxury car pulled over and asked you for your number in a hurry, would you no? Because I, I know he's going to pump, fill it up with gas for the car dealership. That ain't his call. Um, <laughs> girl, he's going to fill that car up with gas and bring it right back to the dealership he worked at. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Shira, the next. The necessary thing to attract men would be one, looking very good, two, baby boys, damsel in distress. They have to impress at the beginning. Anything else is caring personally, pers is a caring personality good? <sighs> no. <laughs> Sorry. It ain't good. As you can see, it ain't good. Caring personality means you, I care about you even though you've done nothing to deserve it. Which then switches the power. So you don't be caring. You just be nice and you be cordial. You don't be too extra nice and you don't be too caring. Who cares? They know it's fake anyway. The first couple of months of a relationship even years is fake. So whatever you're doing, they already know it's fake. So if you're just real and they don't know what's fake with you or not, it's more confusing and intriguing. Everybody starts off nice doing the most. Don't do that. Just look the most. You know, let your nice side come out long, long time later. When he's finally worn you down with all his gifts and money and travel, then you show your nice stuff. Okay. What if a man puts you down? They don't. They don't put me down because I don't let them. And I had the same discussion with another girl earlier. Ask them to repeat the put down. Say, excuse me, could you say that one more time? I didn't really hear you. 
make them repeat it again and then say, oh, okay, I was just making sure that's what he said. And then look at him. Don't react. Don't become emotional. Just look at him. Look at him. They don't know what to think. They scared. Eh? I would never allow somebody to treat me bad, but that would be my reaction if they tried. Eighteen year old, good age for a sugar daddy. You mean you're 18 or he's 18? I don't know. It just depends. You, you looking for love? They ain't. You looking for a boyfriend? That's not what they are. So I don't know. I say if you're 18 and you have a sugar daddy, also have a boyfriend. That way you don't get the two confused. Have one pay that college tuition and have one go to the college. That's how you do that. Okay. You make me cry. <laughs> Chill, what if you're 19 in college and your sister is 44 and wants kids for the first time? Good luck. I hope she can still have them. Sparkle, sparkle. Mm -hmm. She might still have them. You never know. If she, if she took care of herself, she's in good health. If a man you're dating asks you for money in person, how would you respond? Ask them to repeat that again? If you ask people to repeat something, they think twice. You might just say, never mind. Start asking him a bunch of questions like why he needed, how come he ain't got no money. Don't ever say yeah, just embarrass him so he don't do it no more. Then tell him you gotta ask your mom. <laughs> hey Cheech, you got your robots? Mm -hmm. Good. You okay? I need to learn black with bangs. With bangs? Yes, bangs. Oh, uh, I don't have one with bangs. But you could get the clip on bangs and put the put them on. No, they don't work. Look under the I don't know. Sorry. I gave them away. Or I'll buy myself one. Huh? I'll buy myself one. You want to buy yourself one? I might have one somewhere. I just gotta go look. Oh, you know what, Sash? Look in that big pink. Oh, you can't reach it. I don't think in there. You already reached it. Mm -hmm. Then I, I must have. Did you check down there in the bottom? Yes. Then I don't have it. I, I must have give it to give it away. Okay. She won't. Just do the clip in bang. She probably thought. She probably trying to do some TikTok. I gave it away. I'll get her another one. If a man doesn't want to take me out to dinner, should he pay for my Uber ride there? Or if a man wants to take me out to dinner, should he pay for my Uber ride there? I mean, if you don't have a car or like y'all are in a city where people don't drive, yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if he likes you more. Some women don't realize that if you're picking the wrong target, they're not going to want to pay for you because they think you're a regular date. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if they like you a lot, they will definitely pay for you. I have just became a posh ambassador, hey, and was invited me to participate in posh affiliate program. Is it TMI for pops and Facebook friends to know I'm selling personal closet? <sighs> I mean, I don't know what 
I don't know why that would be something negative. I mean, if you have clothes and you don't want them anymore, you can either give them away or sell them. I don't see why that would be an issue. If you don't want them to see it, create an alias name for your Poshmark and say, my friend Poshmark, help her out. Sure. My friend needs help. This is her Poshmark. You guys, she has some really cute clothes. Go support. You know, say that's your friend. Thank you, Isan. Isan Sprinkle Sprinkle. I appreciate that. <laughs> Join. Just hide the post from them. Oh yeah. I think on Facebook you can hide posts from certain people or on Instagram too now. <laughs> it's okay for a provider man to get you a house closer to where he lives if he's paying for it, of course. Mm hmm. If a man want to take you on a date for the first time, is it appropriate to ask him to bring me a gift? You can suggest like telling him that you like certain things and see if he'll bring it. You can suggest it like you expect it, like be a little bit different. You know, like, oh, you know what? Um, I can't wait for us to meet. I can't wait to go out with you. Um, by the way, I love red roses and perfume and gentlemen and interesting conversation. So I'm so glad that um, we'll be able to, you know, get to know each other. Now, I know he heard the roses and that perfume or whatever you told him. And see what he come up with. Just mention it casually while you're talking. Like, if he don't bring it, he don't bring it. I don't know what to tell you. Great solo TV. I don't know. I forgot what he looked like. You... <laughs> Are you afraid of anything? Not really. What's there to fear? Who a star? I like those. Mm -hmm. How to deal with rude mom that swears. Don't tell another. <laughs> I usually find that acting bougie and extra around people that don't, they'll check themselves. <laughs> okay. And it's not disrespectful. It's just that she's your mom. She raised you. And you're over here being bougie and extra. And she's over here being ratchet. So, obviously. <laughs> she's going to either stop and see how she looks compared to how you're acting. And that the child is now leading by example instead of the mother. And she'll hopefully try to improve. Or she'll feel like. You're ashamed to be like her, and so you try to be extra because she embarrasses you. But either way, you got this lie. So just act extra bougie. Excuse me, mother. Just like widen your eye. Don't roll and widen your eyes. Like Cursing is so 
unfeminine. You must be really upset. They'll copy you or be mad at you, right? You gotta lead the way, baby. How much time should you give a sugar daddy that you think is fake or doesn't really have it like that? Enough time to prove he ain't got it like that, baby. <laughs> One damsel in distress story later, it's over if he didn't try to help out. If I say I, I got bald tires and I risk my life every time I get on the road and he don't offer to pay for no tires, it's over, period. Because he don't care about my life. Therefore, he doesn't care about me. Therefore, he doesn't really take me seriously. He doesn't like me more than I, I like him. And he doesn't care if I live or die. So, obviously, I'm out. <clears throat> okay, I'm out. You don't care about that? Okay, fine, I'm out. You ain't gonna try to save my life? from skiing across the road on these bald tires? You ain't gonna try to pay for one tire? I'm done. That's how you know. They don't care about you. They ignore that your life is in danger. And you're their only hope. For that reason, I'm out. out. Shark Tank. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm not going to sit around to see how much more you don't care about my life. You don't care about my life? That was your first test and your last test. Done. I died for all you know. Skidded across the road on some bald tires. I'm dead. When you text me tomorrow, I'm going to text back. This is such and such as mother. She skidded across the road and now she did. Don't call no more. Family is taking donations. Here is the cash app. If you want to contribute to help you on. How dare you call me after you sit me out on the road with bald tires? Like seriously, how, how seriously can you take someone that puts you back out on the road after you've been crying, fake crying, real crying? They don't know the difference. They don't know if your tires are really bald. You know, and they're going to have the nerve to call you after every time you get in your car, your heart starts beating extra fast because you think you're going to die. Go ahead and just fake your death and get the last funeral donation cash out and be out. <laughs> Sure, what if he wants to go to the funeral? Family only direct cremation. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It was a horrible accident. Horrible. Um, but I'm serious though, I think about it. I know I'm being silly, but if they don't care enough about your safety and they try to call you the next day or the day after that, what does that say about them? Not, not anything good. If they have the money, they would have definitely tried to give it to you or at least to help you. So what are they really calling for? Mm -hmm. How to get a man that asks you out on a date for money? Look like you cost a lot of money and they know they got to come correct. They know they got to spend that cash. Gotta, it's, it's how you look, baby. It's how you look. They already know when they come up to you that you like nice things, expensive things. Um, and the only way to impress you is with money. 
They already know that when they see you. That's what you got to look like. You got to look put together and like you don't accept trash, nothing less, and that you are too good for anything less. You know, that's how you got to act. That's just, it's just an act. I'm telling my sugar daddy in college, you're in college for book money. What are some good fake feminine majors? Women's studies. Don't say psychology because he think you're gonna try to like analyze them. Uh, poetry, girl. So literature, some stupid like that. Girl. Literature, poetry, women's studies. Liberal arts, dance. There you go. Theater, whatever. Don't say theater. Then he'll think you're acting. Just say something else. Um. No, don't say nursing. <laughs> Don't say business either. Yeah, fashion. Say all stuff that will never get you paid. <laughs> okay. All stuff that will keep you broke for a couple more years. Okay. No, don't even say social work because then you'll be around. No. All stuff that's very feminine that doesn't get you paid. That's what you need to do. You need to be a refined young lady that is refined. I know literature, I know poetry, I know dance, I know women's studies, and I can talk, but I'm not getting ready to compete. Yes. Okay. You're well rounded, but you're not a threat. And they still have to provide. Mm -hmm. Who is that, Salsa? Are you in here? She must be, oh, that must be the cat. <laughs> Sasha, where are you hiding? Now you guys are just getting annoying. What should be our occupation when a man asks? Part-time receptionist. Ah, that means you don't make money, but you're around professional people all day long, looking good. And that they have to spend money. Everything's on them. You can say you're a part-time receptionist for a very nice place or a temp agency or something like that. And that way they know you don't make any money, but you're still around professional people, you look nice every day that you go to work, you meet different types of people. <sighs> what to do with cakey foundation? Throw it away. <laughs> get a, get one that's buildable and use a good setting powder and a setting spray on top of it. Mm -hmm. Shira, you like milk chocolate brothers trying to see if you have a chance. No, I like uh, Cash App. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I also put my favorite method of impression in the comments. There you go. Go ahead. What college student life is real? That college student life is real. Oh. Sure, how do you have an answer for every question? Because I y'all don't ask me so many questions. I have so many subscribers that have asked the same exact questions so many times over and over. That's how. What if he wants to know the address where you work? Give them a temp agency, temporary agency. That's where I work. They send me different places all the time. 
So today I might be over there. Next week I might be over here. Okay. When that woman goes on maternity leave, I step in. When she goes on vacation, here I come. I'm the temp agent. I work for a temp agency as a part-time receptionist, and I get to meet new and exciting people every other week. Mm -hmm. Is nursing feminine? I mean, I honestly, I've already talked about how I view nurses not. Everybody needs nurses. Nurses are like, you know, essential in this world. Yes, I applaud nursing for being a nurse. But when it comes to how people view you, it's a little bit tricky. Okay. It depends on what you look like as a nurse, where you work, what kind of nurse you are. So, okay. So you think you're rich? Dusty you think you're rich. <laughs> the nurses tend to take care of everyone. Yeah, they think you'll take care of them. Feel so, you know, it's it's just, yeah. I really would. I wouldn't tell people. Yeah, exactly. Just keep it to yourself. Just tell them you're a receptionist. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And you don't want them to take advantage of you. That's why. Like, it's, it's self-protection, really. You don't tell them that because they'll try to take advantage of it. Um, so another way to look, I guess I need to get back on the topic. Another way to kind of look polished, put together or whatever at work. Like if you have to wear... A, a special outfit or a uniform, you know, of course, do everything else that you can do, like hair, makeup, nails, da da da. But if you get to wear whatever you want, you know, um, try to look nice so that if you decide you want to step out after work or go somewhere, that you can transfer that outfit into like a freestyle or keep something extra in your per, I mean, car or whatever a little tote bag that way you can like throw on something or change your shoes or change your top and be ready to go. That way you don't have to go all the way back home and then drive all the way, get ready and then go all the way back out. If you're trying to freestyle, you can go straight after work, make a little happy hour pit stop in a nice neighborhood and then go straight home or wherever you want to go. But I always say look good enough when you go to work to go out, period. If you don't look good enough to go out, when you go to work, you're not doing the most or you're not representing yourself the best you can. You know, a lot of people that have leveled up have often told me they've gotten raises or better job offers just from leveling up because people want to put you out in the front now or they want you to represent them more. They want you, you to be the one to present certain things. So if you look good, you get probably more advance, advances um, in your career. Used to do that in high school. The girl hated what? Oh, look how many is. Sure, can you come live every night? <laughs> no, not every night. Um, what do I say when he asked me about my ex? Is was nice, but he moved because I feel like that's the game to know my weak girl. Tell him that he died. He died, girl. He's dead. Then he can't find no weakness, girl, because that was the weakness, death. Well, how did he die? Make up something extra good. Something that's going to get you paid. Thank you, Bossy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A tragic accident. The corona. <laughs> Sprinkle, 
Philip. Outfit ideas for walking your dog early in the a.m. in wealthy neighborhood. I mean, look cute. Come on. Now. I go for some cute feminine um athletic wear. Some cute feminine shoes. Mm-hmm. Wear Jane. Watch basketball. Um. There's been studies to prove that attractive people get paid more. Yeah, they show me. I'm going to be the prettiest I can be inside and out. That's good. That's a good goal. Get creative with the story. How did he die? Mm hmm. Car accident, Salt? He died of a car accident? This is from October Jewelry, guys. Go go check them out. They're on Instagram. They still have so many cute pieces. Jewelry has two L's. Okay. Um. You got you forgot Sasha was back here. Yeah, she bored. Pretty girls get hired before more qualified women because men hire people. That's true. Sasha said car accident. She owned it already. He fell into a volcano. What to do with a big forehead, wig, bangs, contour? <laughs> do you have any tips for converting a dating app guy into a sugar daddy that pays for all my monthly bills? I find a guy that is obsessing over me and we haven't even met. Well, It sounds like he'll give you money now. And if he give you money he, uh, before you meet, he'll definitely meet you. And when you meet him, you can like run to thank him and give him a big hug and say, oh my God, thank you for my friend. And then he'll be super obsessed because you die, you hug it on him. He can smell your perfume. and It's like the moment he's dreamed of for I don't know how many weeks. Then ask him for some more money right there because he ain't going to say no. Bam. Okay, you get the money first. If he like you that much, then as soon as you meet him after that hook, that's one more time right there. That's the perfect time to get the rest because he's crazy and he like you and he's he, he's in, his adrenaline is pumping and all the good juices is flowing in his brain and he gonna say yes. So that's right there and there. Don't even don't even pause and think about it. Just ask him right there. Sure, sure, sure. What do you need? I'll get it right now. Let's go. Okay, so you already know he's crazy and obsessed. So get it right there as soon as you meet him. After you give him a hug, thanking him for the cash app or whatever he didn't sent you. And, and say, I'm so glad you could help me out. I just want to give you the biggest hug up here. <laughs> let it linger. Let the hug linger. Say, by the way... <laughs> I still need to do this, this, and that, so I'm kind of worried. What do you think? Oh, sure, I can help you out there, too. All right, then. Thank you, Alicia. Tips to get money back from an ex, girl, never. I don't give tips to get money back. You gave him that money? Girl, why would you give a man money? I don't understand. Computer game system. And he... Let me read the whole thing. I spent 3K on a computer game system. That was mistake number one. And his tickets to visit me, mistake number two. He cheated on me, that's why. But not attracted to him anyway. So why did you spend all that money? That's crazy. He ain't giving you that money back. He, he thought you was his sugar mama, girl. He just gained you. Thank, I mean, thank you for the donation, but he's not giving that money back. 
that's a loss. You better count that as your loss. He's not going to give it back unless he go get it from another girl. Taj the Great One, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you. I feel so awkward in, in hood settings. Should I stay and level up attire there or should I dress down to fit in? I, why are you in hood settings? Do you live in the hood? Grab, get me a it's winter and fall coming up. Get you a big old coat and wear over your outfit as you go in and out. Okay. I don't know, like. You might have to, you might have to um, get you a big coat. <laughs> the hood settings. What's a good place to shop for level of outfits? Amazon's pretty good. <laughs> I like Shein. If you like higher quality, try ASOS or Topshop or even Boo Boo. But you're going to pay more. So, I mean, it, it is worth it if you're going to be out and about a lot. I don't really have to um, spend a lot of money on clothing because I just sit in front of the camera. But if you're out and about, definitely check those places out. Topshop, Boo Boo, ASOS. She in is decent. Zara, yeah, yeah. Why wigs? Is this a gold digging channel? It's not Booker digging channel. I mean, if you're going to dig, you might as well be for gold, right? Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> yes, it is. How to not care at all? Do they care about you? Give them the same treatment. There you go. That's how. How to ask for money online before meeting when you're talking on a dating site? Not even. They gotta like you a lot, a whole lot. They gotta be crazy. Like they, they, they need to be asking you. How to give you money? That's that's how I get it. Well, if you if they haven't and you can tell that they'll do anything, just ask or come up with a scenario and let them offer. Mm -mm. How do you know if a guy cares about you? If they do all the stuff that you ask them to do. <laughs> yeah. Said go there, right? They do everything you ask. Thank you, Cherry Dawn. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to make a guy do everything you want. Look good. Make sure that they like you a lot. It's not that hard, and you gotta pick the right target. You don't pick somebody that has too many options, like that are better than you. <laughs> so, however you picking them, that's that's what you're gonna get. Can you look luxe, hot with glasses? I'm dating and willing to marry. I will always be a writer and not believe in the 50-50 myth. How can I make sure that I get don't get tricked. Oh, I just read two things and made one. When dating, how can I ensure that the guy I'm dating and willing to marry is always will always be a provider? Oh, you don't you don't work with you don't work so you'll never have to be 50-50 because you won't be able to do it. Because you won't be working. Make sure his career is upwardly mobile. That means it's going to increase in salary. And that's how. And that he doesn't need your money whatsoever at all, period. 
by far. To the computer system and kicks combo B day and girl, you don't spend money on a band like that. Okay, I I, I think you're new to this channel, but we don't spend money like that on, on dudes. That's a boyfriend. That ain't even your hoods for her. That costs more than some people's wedding. Okay, he's not giving you that money back. You bought him. Okay. He used you. You're not getting it back. You're not going to get it back. He sees you as desperate. And he sees himself as the prize. So why would a, a prize give back the money that he was given to because he's the prize? The same thing for women. A woman ain't going to get that money back. He feel like he earned that money for being with you since you had to pay for him. I would never, I would count my losses and never repeat that. Don't spend money like that on a man. Thank you, Nicole. Can make more videos for women who are leveled up and tips for keeping the man's interest. He's in love with me and I have everything I've ever wanted and more, but I want to disappear for a while. Thank you, Nicole Sprinkles Franklin. Go visit your parents. Go visit a long lost cousin. Let them miss you. Disappear for a second. That's how I keep it interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly like the prize come off like arrogant, it should. That's how you get respect. Um, if you act like the prize, you don't have to be arrogant. You can just act like the prize. Like, you can be nice about it. Like, if they try to take you to a cheap restaurant, it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I just, I don't eat, I don't eat at this restaurant. It's like, I don't really like it. I'm so sorry. Kind of embarrassing, but I can only wear real jewelry. <laughs> and that's so sweet, but I'm allergic. You see, we have to be worried. You just gotta have standards. Sasha said she was allergic to something, so her teacher wouldn't keep offering it to her. Who was it, Sasha? Sasha don't like m and so she told her teacher she was allergic to chocolate. Thank you, Nicole Nash. I've done that. I've disappeared for six months now due to COVID. He's so anxious to see me getting back together with him. If the girl then, yeah, look different. Get a wig or something, girl. Yeah, snatch it off. Uh -huh. <sighs> you're fine. I don't know why you're worried. It's been six months. He said he's gonna be happy to see you. Why do I help them? Because they need help. Is that a good one? Um how to get out of giving sugar daddy for a long period of time while getting paid. Oh emergency funeral from sprinkle. Your aunt just passed away. You got to go out of town for the funeral. Can he help you out with some airfare money? He ain't even get paid. That Sasha, what do you consider me? Sasha, what you consider me? Um, people who are rude to people. People who are rude to people. For no reason. Your, your sugar daddy asked for a specific gift. I can't believe for a spa package membership one year. Girl, who the sugar daddy is in? You? To be able to get a luxury car, but he wants to do is bring me to McDonald's happy hour. What? Okay. Girl, you ain't getting that car yellow.
that's a trick right there. Thank you, the new Nitri Couture Sprinkle Sprinkle. Girl, you'll never see that car again in your life. You're going to disappear after you get that spa um, package and give it to After he goes spruce up for his boyfriend, you ain't gonna see him no more. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> After he go get waxed, shaved, and faded, he, he might you might see him again, but his name gonna be something else. <laughs> I'm going to go by Carmen instead of Carl. Don't have the pre facials, pre waxing. Electrolysis. Manicure, pedicures, all on you. He gonna mail you a little hot, a hot, um, hot wheels. Here's your car. Enjoy. Don't ever, don't even think about it. If you do that, something wrong with you, and you deserve whatever you get after that. Don't do it. You're buying a free trial. This keyword free. <laughs> okay. Um, you dating a man? He asking for things, but he asked, but what can you do for me? How you girl walk away? That's how you answer that. Sprinkle, sprinkle, right? It start singing the Janet Jackson song. What can you do for me lately? But change words to what can you do for me lately? Instead of what have you done for lately? That's from the 80s. I don't know about that because y'all young. But it was an old Janet Jackson song and she was asking the man what he can do for her, not the other way around. Okay. If there's nothing you can do, you bring nothing to the table. If you need somebody to bring something to the table, it's not you. Mm -mm. That's, I would be offended. That is an offensive question. That is almost like asking me a very personal, private question. That's how I would feel inside my heart if somebody asked me that. Because to me, it's telling me I'm not good enough for you to be a, to be provide, to be a provider for. You're looking for a barber, the builder, to build on my back because you can't provide for me and you don't even want to. You're trying to see what I bring to the table so you can see how much money you can save. You're trying to see if I'm a cook and clean video maid and all this stuff without even a promise of a relationship or a commitment. That is offensive. Thank you, Nicole Nash. You're such a blessing. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Thank you, girl. So that question is terrible. And it's a test to see your, if you know your own worth and value. And if you start to answer it, you have already failed. Don't ever answer that question. If you do, just say, I bring nothing to the table. This is it. <laughs> if you can't afford it, don't order it. Get up and walk, girl. I would never. Mm -hmm. See a block. I hope when outside is open, you hold a seminar. I would never hold a seminar. <laughs> this is the seminar. Mm -hmm. One time I said that, and somebody thought I was in a wheelchair. That's why I would never do a, a seminar or meet and greet. I said, Yep, yeah, I'm in a wheelchair, baby. I'll be rolling around. Come on, donate to the handicap. Cash out. Dollar sign, shoe seven. Advantage of every situation. I have no. You gonna, if you say it, I'm, I'm, 
if you don't think it's up there you go. Um, she would do you think modeling is good if it's if it paid good? If you good if it paid good, how you doing? Someone said on one of my videos, you look like you're poor but trying to look rich. I sent I, I sent them straight my cash out. You right. Come on, help me out. I got a, um, I got a card on hold at wish.com. Come on through. I have no shame. <laughs> anyway. Those say, those people are how can try, someone try to look rich? I don't know, but I sure did send my cash app so they can they can send me some cash apps if they think that I need. Mm hmm What if your car what if his car get declined at the restaurant? Does he have another card? Try another card. What other card is this other card? Next card. His other card should work. <laughs> Somebody said me. <laughs> if the other card don't work, go look in the mirror and check yourself. Because he obviously did that on purpose. Ain't nobody in their right mind gonna do that unless they think they can get away from it. I mean, get away, get away with it. <laughs> what? Go to the restroom. Look, oh, better go. I don't know. Like, I would be embarrassed for him. I'm sure he would be extra embarrassed. And need to find that other car real quick. Has that happened to you? Sure, I excuse myself to the oh my god, I see that. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go because y'all are making me laugh too much up here. It's a great story. I'll see y'all later. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Anna Kendrick, who is that? Sasha, you know who that is? Oh, the chick from uh, this chick that plays the voice on Troll. She played on um, that movie. Huh? Yeah. She played on that. Um, Singing movie. <laughs> she looks like a nice girl. She played in a comedy drama called Fifty Fifty. Um, I don't know. I think she's more like a nice girl. She's too nice. She's pretty, but too nice. Mm hmm. I think she looks like a nice, innocent girl. Very sweet. Hey, Sasha, did you see Fat Amy lost weight? I've seen Fat Amy from a, what's that movie? The one where they be singing and stuff. She lost weight. I saw a picture of her on TMZ or something. Um, if you leave the restaurant, does it cause criminal record? <laughs> Girl, why are you asking me these dusty questions? Don't go out with broke men, period. There you go. Red 
Sasha said a red flag is if they take you to Olive Garden. Sasha, pray. Thank you, Jesus. Red flag is if they take you to Olive Garden. Sasha, pray. Red flag. The OG. The OG red flag. That's the OG red flag. The Olive Garden. Sasha is right. If they take too long. She said they take too long on their food. Absolutely. <laughs> you say, dang, I love all of that. Not for no dates. I am worth more than that. I can take myself to Olive Garden. That's where you that's where you go for like where y'all want to eat tonight. I'm bored, you know, I'm hungry. What y'all want to eat? That's that's Olive Garden is for that. It's not for being impressed. Thank you, Lola. Your cat hasn't been in in a while. Yeah. She she was in here last night, but she was just screaming me out if I'm filming, so she's in there. What's wrong with Olive Garden? Oh, God. Y'all tell them what's wrong. It's cheap. That's what's wrong. No. It is cheap. It's not, that's not what's wrong with it. Oh, what's wrong with it, then? Their food takes too long. They breast everything you eat is frozen and, and pre bagged. Okay. They could sell the stuff at the grocery store if they wanted to. It's cheap date. It's not classy. It's somewhere you go on a Wednesday night with your kids because you don't feel like cooking. <laughs> Maybe. If your if your kids are super starving, you pass it right up because it takes too long. <laughs> yeah, Olive Garden is cheap. Don't ever go on a date there. Live it up. You getting hungry? Olive Garden is basically cow feed for humans. The bread sticks though. Mm -hmm. They froze her. Yeah. I'd rather go to an authentic Italian restaurant than Olive Garden. I mean, if you're going to be spending money, you might as well do it right, right? Thank you, Rochelle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I went on a second date and I talked entirely too much. Nothing bad, but it was just too much. How can I keep them interested without talking so much? Shut up. That's how why. Thank you, Sprinkle, Sprinkle. Ask him questions so he can talk about himself and let him talk more and nod your head. That's like talking too much is a red flag to men. I find myself talking a lot when I'm very excited or having a good time or happy or just maybe nervous. So they can tell that you like them more than they like you because you're talking a lot. <laughs> okay, so try to pull that back a lot. Pull it back. He was too quiet. Maybe he just wanted to sit and relax me on the arms. Oh, I know who Anna Nicole is. I, I'm old. <laughs> Seeing in your head, girl, it will help not talking. Right. You seen Michael Jackson. Girl, shut your mouth. Let <laughs> Sing it in your head, though. <laughs> I'm 30. How much older should I date? How, it don't matter. The age is not the point. It's what, what do you want? What are you looking for? Looking for a provider, a boyfriend, a husband? What are you looking for? It, it all depends. Where in Houston can I find a sugar daddy? In the rich side of town. Uptown, downtown, River Oaks, Sugar Land, Katy, all them good spots. 
Mm -hmm. Review lie and said that you like wine and so that they could buy it at the restaurant. Then he tells you to order the wine and you don't know which one because he might be lie. It's H2O. Okay, girl, water. Well, if you don't really like wine, you're not going to like any red wine. That's for sure. You need to get something. Um, I would suggest something sweet if you don't like wine. So I would ask for something like a Moscato is ghetto if you ask for that. Um, ask for a sweet Chardonnay. Do you have any sweet Chardonnay? Sangria is not a wine. It's a drink. Don't ask for Moscato. Don't ask for Rosé. Don't ask for nothing you heard on a rap song. <laughs> Pinot Grigio. I was my drink whenever. He said, why? Oh, gosh. If you heard it in a rap song, it's ratchet, baby. <laughs> what if it was a classy rap song? What if it was a classy rap song? It's still ratchet. Unless you get some of that, that bottle of that gold spade. That JV. That bubbly. I know, like, I, I, I gotta say, I, I should do a whole video. These things are ratchet. <laughs> y'all know it's ratchet on a date? Because y'all probably already done it, right? Extra ranch, fettuccine Alfredo, Moscato, Rose, Hennessy, yes, that's also ghetto, yeah. um, and ratchet. Any of those things. Chicken wings. Make a whole list. If you order lobster, it looked like you never had lobster before in your life. And you waited till this one special date so you can finally try it. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't realize what y'all look like. Yeah, I've never been to a restaurant before. Or so y'all would not order. Don't order no extra ranch. Don't order no extra lemons. Don't order don't order fettuccine alfredo with no scrimp or extra scrimp. Don't order Moscato. Don't order Hennessy. Don't order rose. No chicken tendrils. What else? Uh -huh. Well, it's recommended to order. I, I just told you something bougie. No crab legs. <laughs> no catfish. No fried food. Fried crackers. Nothing to go. No doggy bags. No to go orders. <sighs> That's all y'all eat. That's. You gotta change it up, maybe. Especially if you're trying to impress. Like, really, you know. What are you gonna eat exactly? What would you eat? Oh, I'm talking about what would you order from the menu? It depends what restaurant it is. Like no ranch, baby. <laughs> Strawberry lemonade. Oh, that's for kids. Thank you, Gold Eighty Eight Fish. My date went bad. He said, "I don't look like my pics. I'm too heavy. I don't use filters. I'm overweight, but can pull it off because I have a waist." Now, how to level up without changing my body? I love my body. Okay, you can love your body. That's wonderful. But you got to find a man who loves your body as well. If you're trying to date, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's because you love it. That's fine. You're supposed to love yourself. 
But if you're trying to catch a certain type of man, well, if you don't love it, then you can't catch him. You know? Um, usually, usually, you said curvy love men. Curvy love for men. You gotta find someone that's into your size. You know, maybe try a different type of website that caters to dating curvy women. Right? Why is it ratchet to make changes to my order? It is. It is. I don't know what ratchet is. That's why some of y'all be like, not getting no calls back. Because you ordered that food, baby. I guess what you order can tell a lot about you. You can tell whether you're what they call cultured or uncultured. <laughs> so I will tell you something good to order. If you don't know what to order, this is what you order. Pinot Gris or Chardonnay. That's a good white wine. It's cool. It's cold. You can ask for it sweet or dry. Nothing fried. Don't be done fried. Give them some options, Mama. I am giving some. I'm giving some options. If they have a salad course, you could get the house salad or the garden salad with vinegar, uh, vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette. Don't get no ranch. Okay. What about Italian dressing? Italian's fine, but still a little basic. You want to get fancy. And then for the main course, you need to order a veggie. If you eat meat, do a seafood, don't do no fried seafood, do a veggie and, and a fish combo, whatever. Don't get no scrimp, don't get no crab leg, don't get no fried food, don't get no baked potato. Yes, I would like the, you know, whatever type of fish that you're looking at, that you are interested in, get, get that with a side of vegetables. Salmon, sea bass, you know, snapper, whatever. Pick one of them. Don't get no extra wood of dipping sauce. Get what come with it, period. Whatever you want. Sorry. No baked potato, no french fries. You can get scallops. Scallops is decent. Um, or scallops, that's what I always used to get. No chicken wings. All right. So then when you eat that, when they offer you dessert, you decline. Oh, no, thank you. I couldn't. Okay. Somebody said no nuggets. What's wrong with modifying your order? It shows that you're difficult. Hard to please, and very picky. And it's rude if it's not necessary. You know what I mean? A lot of men don't like when you do that because it's embarrassing them as well. So either eat it or don't eat it. <laughs> Unless they have the order wrong and it's their fault, then it's okay. Just like, oh, I'm so sorry. This is not what I ordered. Tosh, the great one. She, I just got back from a memorial from a best friend, Dusty. It was literally like boys in the hood. <laughs> Ladies, choose better, please. Girl, <laughs> boys in the hood. Mm -hmm. No cheese dip. What about steak? Um, I'm not really a red meat eater, so you know, if it's, I, I always choose. I would say choose something very feminine, and I don't think steak is very feminine because you got to sit there and chew it. You have to masticate. 
Thank you, Sasha NYC. There's someone named Sasha Sasha. Do not clean your plate. Leave some behind. Exactly. Don't be cleaning that plate. Leave food on the plate. Don't stick your thumb in the plate with the fork. Don't scrape and scrimp. Leave food on the plate. Don't eat all the food. Exactly. I forgot about that because I said that in another video. You're, if you're hungry, eat before you go on the date. Yeah, you something to eat before you go on the date so you don't look like a pig and that you're starving to death and ain't never been to no restaurant before. Okay. So you're going to order something very feminine and basic and boring. Get you a good wine, though. Get you a good wine. If he wants you to try something, like an appetizer, that he suggests, then go for it. But you don't sit there and pick out all the fried food and all the dips and, you know, whatever. Just, if he wants you to taste it, say, okay, I'll try it. But don't sit there and eat it all. Eat it. This is how you gotta do it. <laughs> no burgers. Don't lick the plate. What if I have soup? Can I finish it? Girl, don't eat no soup on all day. The heck? Gee. <laughs> Never. That's when y'all dating for a long time and he didn't see you at your worst, girl. No. You say, huh? Unless you're going to eat pho, Vietnamese pho. Don't don't pick up that bowl and drink it. No, just leave it behind, baby. You, you'll eat again soon. <laughs> The point is not to act like you ain't never been nowhere and that you've been starving all day. The point is to be cute. Okay. You feed him. Do you order dessert only if he asks? Girl, you don't order dessert. He has to force it on you. Divorce, I mean divorce. Dessert has to be forced. I was trying to combine those two words. <laughs> Dessert has to be forced. Thank you, Lola. Sure, I know what you'll say, but I have potential who spins but just wants the tick for tack sugar baby dynamic. I met him in Uber. He's retired. How to get him to take me out to show off my level up for other potential? Tell him you want to uh, go out to eat. At a nice restaurant, or you want to go out dancing or whatever, make him take you, girl. If he say no, you don't want to. Go out by yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, so stop talking about food. Can you do a plate with my bread? No. Dessert is my favorite part. Then don't eat, don't eat, then make a very small dinner. Like I said, vegetables and a little piece of fish. And maybe, then maybe you can do a dessert or sugar dessert, whatever. But um, it, it just, it's just not classy to overindulge and do all of that extra stuff on a date. You know, later on, if y'all get together and have a real relationship, eat whatever you want. But first impressions are very important. You don't want to act like you've never been anywhere before or that you're hungry and that you're basically feeding the needies. Okay? Don't do that. Try something. Order something you've never tried before or that sounds different. Go out of your comfort zone. That way you don't hurry up and eat it like super fast either. You know what I'm saying? So you want to take your time and eat because you want the date to last and linger, so you're not going to get something that you're going to scarf down. So try to get something that's not your favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I eat, I can't be tucking in your cheek. What? Feeding the greedy and the needy. Some of y'all sound embarrassing. <laughs> I know, right? Like, honestly, like, I could never go out to eat with some, some people because I would be embarrassed. 
And I think this is one of the things that is never taught. It's never taught. People don't get on YouTube and say, what's ratchet to order? Don't order that. Don't order this. That's ratchet. Please don't do it. You know. Um, so I'm did I'm doing it. Do not order chicken alfredo, fettuccine alfredo with shrimp. Don't order none of that stuff. Don't order it. No chicken tenders, no fried food, no ranch. Okay. I wouldn't even be trying to slurp in no pasta on a day. If you're gonna get pasta, get pina or something that way you can stab it. Pina or bow tie pasta because you're gonna stab it instead of slurping it and twirl it instead of it's gonna look crazy. No smacking, exactly. Chew with your mouth closed, don't talk with the food in it. Um, what does it mean if your target orders the same dish as you? They want to see what you like to eat. <laughs> um, nothing that's going to give you gas. <laughs> no french fries. Right. Thoughts on the concept of a one by man called that size. To men, is it a gateway to a no. submissive means you trust them to pay all the bills. You don't trust you trust their financial making decisions. And you're comfortable being feminine and a lady and you don't question them because they take care of you. And you can basically do whatever you want to do. Submissive does not mean slave. It means you trust them enough to where you don't have to second guess and check, double check everything that they're doing. That's all that means. The other thing means slavery. Okay. So use the correct word. Submissive means I'm not going to challenge you. I'm not going to say, did you pay them bills? I'm not going to say, do you have enough in the bank for that? I'm going to say, can you afford that? I'm not going to check you because you're paying for everything. So it don't, it's not a question. I'm not going to have to uh, discipline you or be your mother because you're responsible as a man. And so my submission is not challenging you. Thank you, Chai Marley. Love your vintage style. Your lips look great, by the way. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, when when as soon as somebody broke hear the word submission, they automatically think of slavery. No, it's allowing the man to be masculine and allowing the woman to be feminine instead of having to double check everything because you got everything wrong and can't do nothing right. That's what all it means. So. If you're doing it in the slavery way, yes, it will lead to abuse because it's basic slavery. <laughs> okay. Sure, how to make men feel like men by being feminine. <laughs> I think quiche is classy. I don't eat dairy. But I guess if I did... Yeah, I'm live. Sasha's in here. Um, you're on the taller side. Yeah. Um, she would looks like a more classy party girl. Wow. How? What? What about slushy alcoholic mixed drinks? Where are y'all at? Bourbon Street? Y'all at the Dagger Factory? Y'all yeah, let up. <laughs> what kind of restaurant are y'all at? Like that one? I mean, it depends on what restaurant. If you're at a five-star dining, I don't even think they would offer that. So if they sell it, I guess it's okay to drink it if they sell it. I don't know. It doesn't look classy. It looks like you just want something sweet because you're not a refined wine drinker or whatever, connoisseur. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kristen. Just got in and from a fancy date, Italian dinner works for Google 150K. Made him feel regular. Now he's stepping up rooftop food on or Galveston tomorrow. Thanks for your advice. Go oh, ahead, Chris. Let's sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm glad you made him step it up. 
<laughs> she or isn't dairy good for your bones? No, calcium is good for your bones. There's other foods with calcium in it. Girl, what, what the provider with the small girl, I don't know what you said. She or what if the vegan man decided to he wants me to buy him a new game coming girl? Too young. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Gin Gin. You need to go drink some Gin Gin. Pass out. Wake up and start again. It all rhymes for a reason. Because there is no way. There is no way. Unless he lets you use his credit card. That you should be doing that. Okay, let me see your credit card real quick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. what if the vegan man I'm going to read the rest of it decided he wants me to buy him a new game coming out 2020 or something he decided he wants you to buy him something he decided he was the prize, too, at the same time. So he just decided that. He decided that he was the sugar baby and you was the sugar mama. He also decided that his value is higher than your value. And so he just decided who is worth more in the relationship. That's what he decided. <laughs> right? I go take a picture of the game and send it to him. That's about it. Take a look at him. <laughs> you say it can't be real. I hope not. So submission is letting him sur provide fully, not the woman cooking and cleaning and catering to him 24-7. Can she go shopping whenever she wants and buy whatever she wants? Can she get up online 24-7 and order what she wants online? That's my question. Okay. If, if you don't got no problem with that, that's fine. Too. You don't got to go to work and you can shop online 24 7 and all you got to do is cook and clean up the kitchen and whatever. You can fit that into your schedule or hire me. Order food online, or I don't know. Set you up an account. Um, so here's my thing. I'm too much of a person to allow someone to tell me what I have to do. You understand? Because I'll do the opposite on purpose just to see your reaction. Don't people can't do that to me, and I'll record it. You see, that's just who I am. So, if somebody had the nerve to fix their mouth, say that I had to do something, I would pretend I was gonna do it, set them up, get what I needed out of them, and be gone. Sure, I'll cook and clean, I'm a burning. Burning fluid. Oh my gosh, I left the sink water on. And I went to the bathroom and I totally forgot that the sink was plugged. Oh my gosh, I forgot that that was in the oven. Everything's burnt and flooded. You want me to cook again tomorrow? Oh no, I don't do dishes. Let me do the dishes. Oops, I'm breaking everything that I pick up. I have such butter fingers. Okay. Break the dishes, burn the food, flood the kitchen. Sa Sasha, don't you even try it. You don't even watch this anyway. Mm -hmm. you, rinse the, you rinse it off and, and put it in the sink. So, yeah, no, none of that.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then make him eat it and cry if you don't. That way he'll never ask you to cook it. You're not even going to try it? I scraped off the burnt part. Here, let me put some, some mustard on it. Maybe that'll make it taste better. <laughs> How do you keep him interested without showing that you like him? If he interested, he's gonna stay interested. <laughs> Period. Do you think about it. y'all ask questions but don't reverse it on yourself? If you interested in some dude, are you gonna become uninterested in him? Either you're not interested or you are interested. There's nothing that he has to do extra to keep you interested. You are already interested. There's something that you could, he could do to probably make you uninterested, like turn turn him off, like some like ordering scrimp and fettuccine alfredo and whatever. But they don't lose interest if they have interest. Mm-hmm. Ordering meat well done is a sign of no class. I don't order meat, period. What's that sign of super class? This is probably the hell out of How do you make how do you make men interested? Look good, baby. Look good, period. Look good. And if they're not interested naturally, you don't look good enough. Level up, get your looks better. Mm-hmm. I said, look, besides looks, don't talk too much. Laugh at their jokes. Pretend you're listening. <laughs> That's very interesting. You're so smart. Wow, I didn't know that. I learned something new every day. Wow, you're like a breath of fresh air. Lie. Don't talk too much. Laugh at their jokes. Listen. Ask them about themselves. Period. That's it. Very easy. How do I make you interested? Never mind. Cash app. That's right. That's cash app. <laughs> Never said that. What? She or would you call a sugar daddy or wait on him? Girl, I'm not calling nobody. Is the, is the bills due or something? He lay on his payments. Get that automatic deposit. He might be in a hospital. <laughs> How old is he? Um, sure, what is the most generous zodiac sign provider of mentality? Earth signs or fire signs? How do you ask a man to provide? By not having a job and looking good. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sure, you always make me laugh. <laughs> okay, show up with no job and look good. That's how. <laughs> Joy the cat sitter. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. You have facial paralysis. Do you have any advice on embracing my beauty? Um, where are you paralyzed? Like on one side or both sides or what? Somebody says make up one side. Girl, Aaliyah Bang. Yo, look, he's on one side, swoop, bang, and check. I'll get you a side, swoop, bang. Go to your hairstylist, go buy the wig, the side, swoop, bang. They can't see nothing but one eye and an eyelash. Girl, put the eyelash on the eye, get you some red lipstick, and the eyelash and the red lipstick will draw the attention away from anything. And then the swipe, side, swoop, bang will kind of hide that side. And then if they ask you what happened, you could make up a really good story that will like make them like you even more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? They ever find out or see it? What happened to your face? Oh my God. I don't want to talk about it. 
No, really, what happened here? I was skydiving. I was swimming with the stingrays. Something exciting and adventurous. Um, Shira, you make, do I make people laugh? Mm, there used to be by now. Sasha, do you laugh anymore when I tell you something funny? There used to be by now. I try to make them laugh. They might laugh once or twice. They just think I'm normal. Why do men want to back after you're already gone with, can't they just act right the first time? Girl, if they don't, if, no, they can't. If they don't want you if they got you. They got you. They want you when they don't got you. That's why you can never get got. Learn a lesson, girl. Never get got, and they'll never stop wanting you. Mm-hmm. She were chips on oh, we were men. I don't know how I never dated one. She said if I did, I don't remember. Mm. Any signs? Any sign can be abusive. How you handle a man that treat you that test your patience? Ignore. <laughs> Like you ain't paying attention. Uh, what would you say? How often should you use C, the sugar daddy? As often as you can. Sheila, how do you overcome depression? I was replaced by a younger pygmy. Go get you a richer man. Level up and get you a richer man, girl. <laughs> Was he a Dusty? Because I wouldn't even be mourning a Dusty. Did he pay your bill? Did you still work? Then you weren't replaced, you were relieved. Okay. Relieved of your duty. Thank you, Lola. Sure. What do you do if you can tell a potential likes you, but they don't approach because they find you intimidating, especially from a different race? That means they're not bold enough to come get you. They're afraid of rejection. They ain't bold enough to come find out. And a lot of times men have stereotypes that the women will approach them, especially of a different race. They have certain expectations because pick me, show y'all. So they waiting on you. But I wouldn't even give in to that stereotype. Sure, is it okay to get business advice from, nope, it ain't, Spark sparkle. You don't need to be talking about no business on no date. If they offer it to you freely, just pay attention if you want the advice, but don't ask them. Thank you, Gold 88 Fish. How to avoid comments about not looking like my pics online, look like your pics online. I don't use filters. How to take accurate pics and not surprise people. Take real pictures. How you look straight up, not from my angle. Not from down here, not from two years ago, but straight up. You know, um, if you're if you're taking pictures to hide and disguise things, you know you're being deceptive to a point. So take an honest picture. That's the best thing I can tell you. Don't get somebody super duper old. They gonna care either way. They just be happy you were alive. Okay. <laughs> you okay for real? Like, uh, thanks for showing up. <laughs> Still, thank you for showing up. You're 29. It's okay to push for a ring once you reach one year of dating. Mm, it depends. How old is the dude? What? Thank you, why am I, what to do if you're 37 and want a kid now, but your provider man wants to wait 
before getting married and doesn't want more children at this moment, but is open to it in the future. How old is it and how rich is it? Can he afford it? Then, it, then do what you want to do. If you can afford it, then the power is in your hand. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Bank account, check. Do what I want, check. Oopsie. Sure, if I say I don't want a job, how do I keep him from watching all of my time? Be busy. Go to the gym. Do some volunteer work. Go visit your family. Walk a dog. Walk. If you have a dog, walk the dog. Work out. Netflix and chill. Watch a show he hates. Or do you recommend freezing your eggs? Sasha said we don't eat eggs. So no, I don't recommend freezing eggs. <laughs> Are they boiled eggs? Do what you gotta do. That's all I say. Who's going in at the house? Is that re they letting the dog out? Mm. Speaking of astrology, okay, y'all talk to each other. She's an um, older gentleman. An older, if an older gentleman says he's concerned about the age difference, is he dusty? Well, I'm a little concerned about him. That means you're immature. <laughs> and he cannot picture himself with you. But you have to class it up a little bit. A little bit extra bougie. You gotta move your eyebrow out. No, I'm Girl, you gotta look like you're trying to be with all men. That's what I look like. Can't be all dressed and extra young. You gotta mature it up. Mature your style up. This, that's more, that's really what they're more uncomfortable with. Your style. Mm -hmm. How often should you see, I don't know how often you need to see them. What if you don't like living in an affluent area? Will this fit rich man want to you? No, he should be able to move you up out of there after he gets to know you. Why do some wealthy men care where you live and where your parents? Because they're trying to um, marry into status. They're trying to, if they care where you, that like they don't want, if they plan to do something in the future, like run for office or if they have certain connections. A lot of people research other people's families and who they're dating and who they're associated with before they do business deals. It's about business, baby. They do. So if he's dating some chick and her, you know, they live next door to the trap house, you know, their company that's probably going to do business or invest with him, you know, there's a liability there. You know, they do. Like, oh, well, they investigate. Y'all remember that movie, Bring It Down the House? Or what was that? The one with Queen Latifah and Steve Martin? That old lady was doing all this research. It's like, oh, she's a felon. I don't want to have anything else to do with that. I don't want to sign any deals. And then they took her to the, to the hole in the wall club and got her high. Anyway, yes, business associates do background research. So who you're dating, if you're going to be um, responsible enough to handle my accounts, my money, who dating, you know, it's very yeah. super bougie. So the best thing to do is separate yourself. If you really want to date affluent, you got to separate yourself from this type of situation. And 
maybe use a less affluent man to level up out of the hood and make up something. Don't be in that environment and be less of a liability. Mm -hmm. That's not my smoke alarm. That is my burglar, what do they call it? House alarm. The dog was being let out. They can be what? Mm -hmm. Where to find high value men during quarantine? I feel like they are all at the house because they scared to go. Out. Ain't nobody scared to go out. <laughs> Check the rich areas of town. There's a drive on over to the other side of the tracks, baby. Get over there where everything is nice, shiny, clean, where there's no cars under the year of 2000. And 15 or whatnot. Get over there on that side of town. Okay. All right. I got to go, y'all. So I will see y'all later. I've been on here too long. Thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for everybody who donated. Appreciate it. And if y'all new, subscribe.